previously on Feral Mode. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start out with a casual match and just sort of dictate what it is that we're experiencing here together. Um, okay, room matches, ranked matches, raid duels. Do they open these up yet? Uh, oh, it's four player cooperation mode. Oh, that's cool. I'll come back to that. There's tag duels where you have your friends. There's room matches. Um, and then there's ranked matches. I'll just go to ranked match and we'll just start this off. I just have like this default starter deck. Um, I think my partner, I know my partner's the Dark Magician. All of this will make way more sense sh shortly. I promise you that. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys uh, your tech partner button, which is right here. It's not quite like Master Duel Blazing. It, it really is a totally different and unique experience, but it is really neat. Uh, it's voiceless, which is really interesting. So um, I have unlocked Yami Yugi. What a pleasant surprise. And it's voiced over. Uh, we probably will open up some duel links towards the end of the stream, but it depends on how much we're enjoying cross duel. The cross duel beta is only open for a week, and since it's the only time that I'm going to be able to stream this week, because on Friday I have the remote duel extravaganza, this might be something different than we're used to. But I guess I need to pull my chat head, by the way. Grab pheromone. Maybe I'll be up here. That seems a little weird for me. Maybe I'll do this. Uh, they didn't say when the full game will be ready yet. Um, yeah, I don't have like a pre-made way this is going to line up. So I'm just going to put this. Uh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Quest Tool. Uh, I really want to tag with y Yami Yugi. Yeah, it is really, really neat. It is difficult. Um, most of my devices would not play this. So it took me about a day or two to figure out while I was sick on Monday, unfortunately, um, to figure out how to get this up here and be able to, you know, to show you guys what's going on. Now, Master Duels is coming soon. And again, fair warning, it's not always going to be Duel Links. We are about to enter an era where there are four Yu-Gi-Oh games out at the same time. And uh, we're, we're going to be playing them. <laughs> It's, it's not like that, and I need to not... Let me just unlock Jaden really fast. Jaden's weird, though. His facial animations don't seem complete. It is a beta. This might be a weird question, but you'd hear somebody say, like, Kuri Kuri? Watch his teeth. It's just weird. It's just a little off. I did. I did see all the news there. Here, I'm going to make the chat a little easier for me to see on this computer. There we go. Okay. Yeah, curry curry, right? The catchphrase of all Karibos everywhere. Uh, no, the Nokia 33110 or 3310 didn't do it. All right, so we're going to form a tag team with Jaden. There's just something a little, like, they animated the jaw really well, and then they the, failed to animate the rest of the face. It's using something called the puppet tool. But, yeah, there's just, between the, the Kingdom Hearts stuff, there's also uh, 5Ds and Zexal, we'll come back, but they have no Yu-Gi-Oh! of Reigns or Sevens content yet, but it is allowed, so it'll be neat to actually see, uh, you know, these characters from all the different series interact with each other uh, with full voice acting. Okay, but enough about that, we've kind of, you know, messed around. Let's go to a rank match, and we're going to begin our duel. And you only get three rank tickets each day. It's definitely a, um, what's described as a gacha game in the sense of, Gotcha pawn machines, we put a quarter in, you like turn the dial and you never know what you're going to get. Um, this has that sort of thing where you can play as many casual games as you want, but I do think there's only three ranked games per day, which is really interesting because it makes your rank really mean something. You have to be good and you can't just brute force it. Sure is loading though. It's going to be, again, just a little weird because this is not what we're used to streaming, but I think you guys are well equipped to deal this out. So... Tag duels kind of set you up for this, but a cross duel is literally League of Legends. In the sense that there are lanes, and we're going to send our monsters into those lanes, and whoever has the higher life points at the end of the duel uh, gets something. And you might notice I'm running some cards I wouldn't ordinarily run, right? Uh, but all monsters can be customized to have effects. But I haven't done that yet, because I just got started and I wanted to share these adventures with you guys. I've only done a little bit of the tutorial. So everything is also animated. So for instance, I'm going to summon my Ojama Black in defense mode. And I'm going to put... Um, who's got a, a big attack here? I guess technically... I'm going to put this over here. 
And I'm building up my tribute, so I'm also going to put this monster in defense. So you see, there's three lands on the field, and there's this timer. So I'm going to hit ready, because you don't want to get timed out here. But this monster is going to advance forward. It's got, like, big Digimon vibes. Big Digimon vibes. Oh, there's a perfect place to put me on the bottom right corner of the screen? This is where I belong. Right here. Okay. And then if I move this window over... Yeah, okay, that's a lot more natural. So I like that. Then I'm going to bring the chats. So we had a main phase, right? Everybody summoned something. What? Oh, neat. Okay. Any card that you have a significant emotional attachment to is cool. Doesn't have to be worth a lot. It could just be cool because you like it. All right, so we're not going to play any spell cards. I'm not going to send anybody... Uh, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to activate stop defense. And it does just what it does. And we're just going to turn this to attack mode. So I do life point damage. Yeah, there's a, like literally no Java right here. And I was really surprised for them to put so many fan favorite cards in the game. And yeah, we got Ojamas, we got all kinds of stuff, but you do still have to tribute monsters for tribute monsters. Yeah, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Lemmings is not a bad way to describe it. So now my Lemmings, right, my monsters go forward, and my 1200 attack is obviously going to be the 800 attack. Oh, it looks like they uh, stopped defense to me too. So I'm about to lose my monster. Oh, hey, welcome back, Junkard. I'm not going to tribute Ojama Blast. <laughs> um, okay, so Elemental Hero Sparkman beat my monster. I barely got through, but we did get uh, through the Quibble Hedgehog. I'm probably going to tribute uh, Melodious Diva, Sonata. Everybody's still at 4,000, not a big deal. So now I've got Ojama Yell. Hey, Rancel, we're good. Trying the new Yu Gi Oh! Cross Duel. All right, so I'm going to special. Actually, maybe I'll just put that, like, right here in the back. And then I'm going to put Speed Warrior. I almost, like, want to, like, tribute out my Dark Magician to be like, surprise! What is the effect on his monster? Did he give it one? Does it let me see that? Oh, wait, there was. It's very pinpoint that you have to click this. And never again. Okay, um... Uh, I'll just put in defense. Or attack, fine. We'll just put in attack. So we're kind of weakening his spark band, so that's fine. Looks like he has uh, brought out his synchro monster, Junk Synchron. And that is the idea. That it's going to come out in the winter, for sure. But there's no exact date yet. We're still just waiting for official announcements. Alright, so... As we've seen, these lanes connect us to our opponents and give us the ability to attack each other. Ooh, block attack. What? Why is he putting block attack? I guess he just doesn't want to lose. You still lose a uh, thousand attack points that you use on the defense. So by the time this Junk Warrior gets over the Ojama, uh, we're going to be fine. So we're just going to go ahead and ready. Oh, congratulations. It's those little steps that are really important. Incremental progress, for sure. All right, so... Uh, looks like he got smaller. 1,200 uh, versus that. Obviously, the 800 is going to survive. Uh, our Speed Warrior is dead, but Sparkman is down to 400 attack. I think, like... I don't want to do, like, the March of Sadness here. I might send the Dark Magician over on this end, but I'm not really sure yet. Bioshock, it is different. It is a different Yu-Gi-Oh! game. But it's definitely using all of, like, the stuff, right? It's all the cards you're familiar with. Everything pretty much does the same thing. So that I can't weigh in on, because there's a lot of things in a trade more than just the monetary or the value of the cards. If you want the card, if you need the card, if you're going to go do something with the card, right? So I can't weigh in on that, but there's a website, there's a lot of websites, uh, but I would recommend taking a look at TCG Player Blazing. I'm going to give you the link there. And you can at least compare what other people are selling those cards for to determine whether or not you were happy with that trade. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do Quillbolt Hedgehog. I could just tribute out the Ojamas to get a really big Dark Magician. And if I don't soon, this Ojama is going to get destroyed for tribute. So I am going to go ahead and... Oh, wait, return. Oh, time's up. Time's up. That's how they keep people from stalling. There's only about like 20 seconds for everybody to make their play. 
Looks like somebody else has brought out Dark Magician. Okay, they're sending that Dark Magician that way. Which means they've used their ace. So I feel like if I can clear out the Spark Man, sending Dark Magician down the middle might be the best idea. Well, because I'm explaining. I am explaining. Uh, but this has been really fun so far, and I was really, like, impressed with how good it looks in terms of all the CG models for each of the cards and the full voice acting and everything. It's basically like a Duel Links Plus in terms of production value. All right, we don't have to, anything to do, right? It's the battle phase. Yeah, just ready. So Quillbolt Hedgehog is going to stop Spark Man in the middle. Ojama's defending. Ojama Black on the right side is defending, so he's not going to move forward. And Ojama Yellow on the left side is going to be ready to meet um, the Junk Warrior and kind of reduce him down to 300 attack. Uh, we, we still are paid. We, we still are financially compensated. There has never been a part of Yu-Gi-Oh's history, at least from my experience being with the judge program since 2009, where Konami did not fairly compensate uh, every single judge from the people who are just answering the calls when you say judge to uh, the people who are administratively running that. So it, it's not for profit in the sense that that's not why I judge, but I never felt like I was doing something for nothing or that they were taking advantage of me. All right, so I think the answer is to just put whatever I draw on this side and attribute these two monsters and go with Dark Magician down the middle. I actually really think they're cool. Uh, there's a lot of like really difficult to do models where like they're characters that don't necessarily do a lot. Okay, so we got a Hip Hippo. All right, awesome. Uh, they reimburse for the rooms and flights. Uh, they pay. They um, they pay for the room out up front, and they reimburse for the flight. So again, I've never had any issue with how um, Konami helped me get to those events for sure. All right, so I think we're just ready. And so Dark Magician's going on this mission because it does look like he's like basically out of monsters on the middle because he sent his ace this way. And so Hip Hippo should beat Junk Warrior. Yeah, Dark Magician. So you have ace cards in this game, and your ace cards are kind of like your skills in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And what Dark Magician does is every time I play a spell, everybody takes 100 damage, which is great in a battle royale where you're playing for the highest life points. Currently, I'm in last place, but I think we can make some great headway if we are able to get Dark Magician through the center. Well, I can't zoom in, so what you see is what you get. But they look good so far. Alright, so we got a Wing Karibo. Um, I think I'm just going to put... He's, like, not even doing anything. So I'm going to put a Defender right here of Wing Karibo. And there's, like, nothing in the graveyard that can do anything. No, there's not. So we're going to close that out, and we are going to go ahead and hit ready. Hey, Nathan! Oh, snap! Where's it going? <laughs> Thanks, Fox. Looks like Stardust is also going north. Oh, he's got Dark Magician Girl in defense. Okay. Well, that's going to cut down a substantial amount of uh, my points. So, we're not going to do as much damage as I expected. Uh, so, Cross Duel is only for mobile devices. I do believe there's connectivity between the Android and Apple versions of the game, but I don't really know that for a fact because there's no information on this game, right? I just literally have it, and here it is. But uh, I, I believe that the intent is for it to be uh, cross-platform between phones, right? Between your Android phone, my Apple phone, or vice versa. So if you were curious to know what happens when uh, two monsters meet in the middle here, the cards that are opposing each other fight first, and then whoever's left fights next. So, for instance, if this, uh, let's say that's Bitron from Playmaker's Entourage. Um, okay, so when we when we do 500 damage, we also gain 500 life points. Yeah, and that, that seems consistent with the settings in the game. They're only in English and Japanese. So we got back up there. Fifth turn of eight turns. Oh, Moki Moki. That's just excellent. Um, ooh, what do I want to do? I just want to change this to attack mode. Because you can just do that. And I'm not going to be able to get through there. So. 
I guess I can put the Moki... Ah, that's not gonna be like... Okay, so what, we've got two more turns. I feel like just sending the Moki Moki down the middle is worth it. Just all damage the middle. That guy's my rival. Ready. Oh yeah, I saw the live announcement, and it was really exciting, because I've been um, a Kingdom Hearts fan since it came out, and to see the level of detail they did with the alternate colors on the character was extremely hype for me, especially Timeless River Sora. Alright, so I think I think Dark Magician is going to keep moving forward, and I think Nether Stardust, okay. Alright, so, still haven't even gotten through a full game. These games run pretty long. Again, has that League of Legends, Pokemon Unite vibe. But, Dark Magician. Uh, it looks like everybody's trying to pick on this guy. Because there's a Stardust coming through the side here. And there's another Stardust that's supposed to come through the side. So we've got Opti Camouflage Armor. Which is going to um, target a level 3 or lower monster you control. It gains... It loses 500 attack and it gains Stealth. Ooh, I don't know what the keyword Stealth is. Uh, what'll I do? There's nothing I can't do. Alright. So, our Hip Hippo is gonna lose out to Junk Warrior, but we already have the Karibo there. We do have, um, Dark Magician here fighting his apprentice, and was able to beat her down, but only has 500 attack left, because that's the way it works. Kinda works like a Dimension Duel in Dark Side Dimensions. When they fight each other, they effectively spend those attack points. Okay, they Mirror Forced. Oh no! My Moki Moki too? Wow. So he had Mirror Force, which does exactly what it does, right? It destroys all attack position monsters attacking him. So I, I did see that. I did see that. I haven't had any two-factor authentication attempts yet. Uh, so far, I'm pretty lucky. But yeah, there was a pretty big, massive leak on Twitch. Um, I haven't seen any of my data mixed in, but um, that doesn't mean that the data's not out there. So you guys should probably change and switch to two-factor authentication when you can. Uh, I guess I'll just put one down the middle because it looks like, oh, how, what's the quickest way I'm going to do damage? I got 1100 here. It would actually be to, uh, put this in attack mode and I'm just going to, I'm just going to send him down the center. No, no, no. In attack mode. In attack mode. Yes. Ready. Please. Right. Just so I can know. Yeah. It's been just a crazy day. Um, the other big news is they announced that that puzzle that's above me all the time is being released in uh, Western, you know, territories. So you guys are going to be able to pre-order from your comic shop or other shops that you order from uh, the Millennium Puzzle. And since it's not quite as sacred as it used to be, uh, just because, you know, there's other opportunities to get it, I might buy another one. I think I'm going to open this up and I'm going to do this on Monday. And so we're going to solve the Millennium Puzzle. I think it's like 37 pieces, if I remember correctly. But yeah, we're just going to, again, start to uh, reach out to these different Yu-Gi-Oh! spheres. So super excited about that. Whoa, Flute of Summoning Karibo. Does that, like, just summon a Karibo from your deck? Uh, special summon a Karibo monster to either of your zones. Neat. I'm not going to throw it in the trash. What I mean is I'm finally going to, like, crack that case open. Uh, ain't got nothing left to do. Look at the settings here. Automatically skip spell. No. Stickers messages. Display partner. BGM. The voice up. <laughs> um, I did get some Megatons, finally, that I opened um, off-stream. Didn't pull Crossout Designator or anything like that, but I did get a Zeus and a couple of other really good utility cards. So, excited to um, be able to put those in action. We do have the Remote Duel Extravaganza coming up this weekend. Was that supposed to hurt? Zero, unfortunately, because I didn't get any. But it's, it's still, like, I just... I know that Crossout Designator is really good in competitive play. Oh, look, there's Ojama Green, so we got all Ojamas. Okay, so we're, we're in trouble. All we can do at this point is defend. So I'm just going to put that over here. But, like, we, we have nothing. We just have to hope that somebody else gets some damage and, like, 3400 is not the last place. No, I think Sora is a real fan favorite character. And you have to remember that, like, those people already like Smash Brothers. A lot of the guest characters in Smash Brothers are to attract people to the fandom that don't necessarily like Smash Brothers, right? I thought about Smash Brothers yesterday because they talked about Sora. And I'm like, oh, Kingdom Hearts. So I think they made the right choice. 
I did get like one shiny virtual world. The main thing I wanted was more uh, sacred beasts. And, you know, it's one of those things where I'm going to have to eventually trade for them, right? I went through four tins and I only pulled uh, the skyscraper one, right? Raviel, Shimmering Skyscraper. Looks gorgeous. Every card in that sex looks, set looks cool. But um, I think it, maybe it was. Hold on. Let me. Bye. No, joking aside, you know, you asked. I'm going to pull it up. Uh, okay, that is an empty tin. And this one is not the holographic tin. Yeah, and it's just one of those things where they might make it the next time. They might be like the opening roster. All right, turn limit reach. Nobody uh, was defeated, which is the win condition. Well, let me pick a different character then, so somebody has the time to watch me lose. I did get fourth place, though, so that's pretty bad. We might need to uh, take a look at what other cards we can add or do some other stuff like that. We did gain some trust, though. To a degree, I've heard this described as a Yu-Gi-Oh! dating simulator because of the heart points that you get whenever you play with your character. Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay. One more. One more. Oof. Okay. So... I'm going to tell you what virtual world that was in just a moment. Let me go back to the home screen and let's let's open some booster packs. So I don't think... Do you really think you cheated the dude out of something? Because I want you to think about how that sounds when you say that, Blazing. He might have also just wanted the card, right? If he wants it and you have it, there's a lot of unquantifiable costs there where he doesn't have to order it online from somebody he doesn't know or doesn't trust, right? He has that card in hand. But you shouldn't ever think of any business deal that you're doing as cheating somebody out of something. If you are thinking about it as cheating something out of, well, you may be, you may be the Seto Kaiba in the friendship there. All right, so this is how the monster customization works. There's little boosts, right? You can boost Dark Magician's attack, right? You can boost his defense. You can uh, do 500 points of damage on a raid boss. There's like little tiny things. I think probably, like, the first thing I would do is try to upgrade, like, some of my other monster cards. Because we know the Dark Magician is good. And so this is crazy. Pulling out Ojama Yellow here. Did they show the character model? No, you can't do it. Uh, we could give Ojama's attack points. Um, damage to objects increases by one. Oh, there's, like, a lot of cool things here. True, but I'm just saying, it's, it's not... Would you tell him I think I cheated you out of 59 cents? And if you did, would your follow-up be, well, I'd like to give you that 59 cents. It's just, it's one of those after-school special moments where I, mm, the tone on that just didn't quite sound like a, the right dual tainer that I know. So all games typically have microtransactions. Um, if there's no microtransactions, you typically have to pay for it up front. And this is a game as a service more than it is uh, a really completed game uh, that you would buy once and that would be it. Where's the vault? Phew! Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that I've sneezed all over some virtual world cards, uh, a bunch of Adam Emancipator stuff, um, some really neat ultra rares. The ultra rares in the set are like the best ones. Uh, some Dragon Maids, Parallel Exceed, which I do want like two more of, and the beautiful uh, Dark Manica Ecclesia, uh, the new Dark Magician Field spell. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Vox, you asked, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna find out. Uh. I know it's in there somewhere, but I can't I can't seem to find it. I wonder if it's in another stack. Okay, so there's no cards display, which is awkward. Um Where's just like the get stuff? Where do I just put the coins in and get the stuff? Oh, card gotcha. There you go. Could be any clearer than that. Then uh we have twelve hundred points, which means we can draw a ten. So we're just gonna draw ten. Wait, really? Like the secret rare from this? That's crazy. Yeah, it, it's really weird. Okay, so we just tap the screen. Okay. So, tap. And we got... Okay. So, we got more Ojamas. Got a trap hole. That's pretty huge. All the trap cards look really cool. Uh, and then we got some other big deal cards here. Oh, we got Utopia. We got another Ace. That's cool. And we got another Utopia. Can I run multiple copies of that? And Zubababa, Zubaba, Zubaba Knight. 1600's pretty big. So, tap screen again. 
Was that just one pack and we have so many more? Okay, cool. Let me do this a little faster then. Uh, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Yes. Was that it? Okay, so that was it. That's how many you get. That didn't seem like 12 cards. But uh, we got duplicates, but we can go ahead and return to the gotcha. Uh, they have card rates listed because I think they're legally required to now. And so it's like, oh, cool, cool. Okay, so here is the chance you actually have on obtaining any of these. It, it's not quite Duel Links because you're not really engaging in that, that sort of traditional strategic duel. It's a little bit more of a board game, I would say. But I like it. I do like it. So I'm going to go cards. We're going to edit our deck. Um, we're going to go to... I guess I need to make, like, a stream deck. It's a model of products by Elgato. Uh, let me go back, and I'm going to make a new deck. And then we will open up a um, new deck. Okay, so... I will... It says one. Can I put multiples in there? Man, there's some loading. I feel like the user interface is not on here. It's on somewhere else. Oh, select an ace monster. Okay, so I will select... Uh, Utopia is kind of interesting because I remember Utopia is like... It like does something with defense or something. Oh, it has locked skills that I don't have. Okay, boost 200, boost defense. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with Dark Magician. Oh, they do have the 3D models. For those of you guys who are asking, like, can I see the 3D models? You absolutely can, and they're pretty good. So, right, we got Dark Magician. You can rotate. Oh, and then there's just the move, rotate. Okay. It's pretty cool. Um, means we probably have the best Ojama model files we've ever had. Yeah, I don't know if we can upgrade it to Utopia the Lightning. I'm just going to stick with Dark Magician, though, because I know that. Uh, but he uses all the spells. Okay, yeah, let's just try Utopia for something different. Or Flame Wingman, but I just... Mm, not there yet. Okay, so to Suggested Deck Selection. Uh, we don't have it. Oh, it's a defense deck. It really is a defense deck. Uh, yeah, we gotta go back. Uh, can we make an Ojama an ace? Alright. Ojama Yellow, 3D model file. Yeah, there, there he is. Just... Just being ojama -rific. Uh, there's yellow. If any of you guys have, um, for the most part, though, I haven't played Smash in a while, but, like, Sheik's been my main since it came on the GameCube, and I'll experiment with the other characters. I had, like, a, a love affair with Sonic in the sense that, like, I really like that character, but most of the time I honestly still play Sheik, and a little bit of Richter Belmont, because the weight class difference between him and Simon. So, like, Sora doesn't, like, make me get out of bed and want to play Smash any more than I already had. So yeah, lots of pajamas, but we're going to go back because I, I don't want to be sitting here on the character creation screen forever. Uh, okay, so two deck editor, we're just going to go in, and we need to add good spells and good traps. But there's some good stuff in here, there really is. Okay, so um, we've got our ace set. We can have multiple monsters. I love that this is like a two tribute monster for some reason. So yeah, drag that up. That's a one tribute. Zubaba, 1600 attack, that's cool. Uh, technically, this fish has, like, more... I'm trying to... Ah, there we go. Okay, so you can't slide. Uh, big monsters with big defense. Um, Let me do... Trap Hole is definitely good. And... Do you only get one of each card? I think you only get one of each card. Which I think is, like, great game balance. Uh, we'll do reinforcements for sure. Um, all out attacks is put on spells destroyed upon entering if it had super speed or hyper speed. Well, I don't know what either of those things are, nor have I seen either of those things. So we probably don't have to worry about that now. Uh, return the opponent's monster to the hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely want compulsory escape device. And then uh, still need to add some more cards. Uh, we can go ahead and use Eat Gaboon. Eat Gaboon actually is pretty good for uh, anti-defense. House of Adhesive Tape. 500 defense or less. I don't see as many monsters that have low defense, but we'll come back to that. Um, I want to... I mean, Blue Medicine is, like, legit a strategy. Do that. I'll definitely do Unicorn, Unicorn, the Horn of the Unicorn. 
Uh, do we have any light monsters to justify that? Wow, boosting by 800 is huge. Uh, it only works for like two of our monsters, but we're doing it because that's what we got. Uh, we still have to add six more cards. So why don't we just add some like okay light monsters? I do know about Ghost Rares. We've um, showed off a number of them on the stream before Blazing. Let's take a look. You should. You really should. It's, honestly, it's a great game series. Uh, is this the really high defense one? It is. 2,000 defense is so big. So let me go ahead and put... That's okay. Uh, you can easily see some pictures of Ghost Rares. If you want to see what one looks like close up, I actually posted one on my Twitter recently because um, I got a new camera. So if you scroll down, um, they're just older cards that have really cool holographic art, and they've recently uh, started making them again. But if you just scroll down the Twitter, you'll see a picture of it. You'll, if you've never seen one before, man, you will definitely know it when you see it. Uh, okay, so deck construction. We're doing this. Um, I don't really see any other light monsters. Oh, the Ojamas are light monsters. But 0 plus 800 is not that big. So I'm going to use definitely this Melodious. And then what do I got here? Dark World Shackles, slow until the end of the turn. Uh, might be neat to have something like weird. So yeah, we'll, we'll add slow. Uh, can't go wrong with block attack. Can't go wrong with stop defense. But Steel Shell do a water monster and give it 800 attack. Uh, do we have any water monsters to justify? We have one fish. There's no way. Um, bad reaction to Samochi. Yeah, if they recover life points for the rest of the turn, each time a player would recover life points with an effect they receive an equal amount of damage instead. That's weird because it sounds like the first person to do life point gain doesn't get anything. Let's do Castle Walls, and then we're going to save that deck from now, I'll confirm. Ah, you probably haven't caught on blazing that Vox very often will say things that are not true about Ojamas. So welcome to the uh, Ojama Club, my friend. Speaking of which, I'm going to make this as... Dark Magician Stream Deck. So, the way it, it works, uh, ABC Best Deck, is when you put a monster in defense mode, we're just about to start up a new game. When you put a monster in defense mode, it doesn't advance a lane. And so, that's one thing. If you put that monster in defense mode, it might have a great defense. Nobody may ever come to that lane. Yeah, grab just a couple of these common materials. Uh, that is correct. That is correct. Uh, let me put that back the way it's supposed to be. There we go. Confirm. Can I just hit? Oh, there is a receive all button. Okay. So we got a bunch of materials for crafting stuff. We'll worry about that later. What we're going to do now is just do our two ranked matches and then see where our adventure takes us. All right. Uh, rank match. And use a ticket. You'll gain twice as many rank points. Oh, okay. So I don't get three rank duels. I just get a couple. Interesting. Because they wanted to make a new game featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! characters and cards. They've done that in the past quite a lot. There's some fan favorites that you can probably watch on Twitch right now, such as Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, where none of the card texts work the way they're supposed to, or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, another really big fan favorite game, where it has Yu-Gi-Oh! characters, but not their cards. We streamed a lot of that. If you remember, Coliseum, uh, Capsule Monster Coliseum is basically the same thing, right? Yu-Gi-Oh! characters, but not their effects. I mean, is it good... It's a deck. It's better than the starter deck, but we'll, we'll see. So we got our cross duel lanes. You can probably play this with your friends IRL. You always start the duel with your ace monster, by the way. Okay, so what do I want to do differently? I want to put two Ojamas out. So I'm going to put these in defense mode. And I'm basically just setting up tribute bait. And then with Avion, Elemental Hero Avion, I just want to send him down the center lane and go from there. So we're going to click ready. Because that's our turn. If only, I mean, there's Xyz, Xyz monsters? There's monsters who who are in Xyz cards. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Oh, hey! Speaking of Xyz, we got Gaga Ga Magician and X Head Cannon. And then our elemental hero Avion and some other monsters. And then finally, uh, looks like an elemental hero Burstinatrix. So here's what's going to happen. Everybody is going to, when we get to the battle phase, they're going to advance up one lane. And so uh, to the, the circular dot that you see on the screen, 
which means that the ones on like the little corners, they're gonna go to that little center dot, and if they meet each other, they'll fight, but defense position monsters don't advance. So we don't have any spells, so we can't do anything during the battle phase, so we just hit ready. Yes, Blazing. Uh, I, I certainly, we've talked about that before. I definitely agree that it's a great place for anime fans to interface with the game and start building those sort of Yu-Gi-Oh! calluses, learning how to play, develop strategies, absolutely. So yes, I do recommend it as a starting point for people who watch the anime but weren't that much in the card game. So remember, the, the cards across from each other fight first, and then whoever's left fights. So the only one to actually make it out of that is X Head Cannon. And so X Head Cannon has 300 attack points left and is going to go forward. We still have plenty of monsters. Oh, we got reinforcements, which is nice. I'm going to set reinforcements for Karibo. Actually, how much is this? its defense? Oh, no, it's reinforcements attack. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and do Celtic Guardian. And I'm going to set reinforcements as my middle lane trap card, and then we're going to hit ready. Uh, it was very basic. One of the things that's really important that uh, makes you a better gamer is to understand simple games and to sort of broadly apply those strategies as they sort of blossom out into what you understand to be, you know, the ever-evolving game. Remember that when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, when it first came out, I mean, we, we barely had... This was more advanced than the Yu-Gi-Oh we were playing at the time. All right, so uh, pretty decent feel. I don't know if I, I recommend him putting the uh, Giant Soldier of Stone attack mode. But battle phase, we're going to walk forward a little bit. Uh, someone's using block attack on another duelist. So that is going to turn... The only monster I still go to defense was this one. Oh, but if you put it in defense, it doesn't advance. That's really interesting. Um, we're just going to hit ready. So we're going to miss having to fight the other guy's uh, X-Head Cannon. But, like, like checkers to chess is the best way to explain uh, what early Yu-Gi-Oh! felt like to about 2003, 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh! when it got a little bit more advanced. Uh, but 2000, 2001 Yu-Gi-Oh! Especially for people playing Booster Chronicle in Japan. I mean, it was just cards. None of them did anything, right? Uh, the rules were still relatively the same. All right, so the X-Head Cannon is going to lose. Hallowed Life Barrier... You receive no battle damage till the end of the turn. I feel like that was a little premature because the only thing he's facing is his 300 hitter. So, yeah, the runner is going to the run him. Fascinating. Uh, I think I think we're doing better. I haven't gone in quite as ham. So we already have monsters at the gate here. Um, if I block their attack, it's uh, 400. So what I'm going to do is put this Ojama here. I'll play block attack when it's time. And then I will... Um, I'll switch this to attack mode. Uh, I still want to save the Dark Magician, but I'm going to lose this. And then I'm just going to have these two. But I'm just going to try something different here. Because we tried setting the ace in and it just didn't work out. We ended up facing all those traps. So Kasi is good. He's good. You should be... Worried about somebody who plays a Tekken character in Smash Brothers. All right, so here's Utopia. Beautiful, by the way. And he summoned Utopia to the side, which is fascinating. All right, so our Ajama kind of lounged out there. So we're in battle phase, and so... I am going to just try to slow this dude down, because he's got it in for me. So let us block this attack. Yeah, complete. True, but these aren't necessarily zones, and the game describes them as lanes, right? You do certainly have three cards, for sure, but uh, there's a lot of extra steps here, and sort of different interpretations of the same words than you would have on uh, just a regular Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Okay, so Utopia's in there, large and in charge. Totally gonna miss us. We're gonna hit 1600 damage here. I feel like, uh... Oh wow, he ring of destruction! That monster, which means Yuma is gonna take a thousand points of damage. What? 
And so, we do lose our monster over on that side. Do 16. Good deal. Gain 600 life points. Um, this is gonna be tricky. It's gonna be really tricky to figure out what I wanna do. So we're in first place, but that could disappear almost instantaneously. I think... I think if I put Ojama Yellow in defense mode over here, if I look at the attacks, Speed Warrior is still in defense, but he's going to turn into attack mode. Can I tribute now? If I did... Oh, man. Would I waste my ace to defend myself? If, if this 1600 hits, we're as good as gold, but if it doesn't, we're going to be in a deficit, and I might need to put a monster in defense in the middle lane. So... I think that's fine. I'm just going to let it ride. So, Celtic Guardian has nobody in front of him yet. We are seeing the Dark Magician attack the side lane. So, I do think that the Dark Magician is coming for me, specifically. It is. Okay. So, Jami Yellow is in there to go and do good. He's got an Avion coming out. Gotcha for what he summoned out. And then there is another Dark Magician. Okay. And whose lane is this going to be in? Oh, it's that gentleman's ace. Okay. So I feel like my safest bet... I might have actually... We might already end this game. Because... All that has to happen is... For someone to reach zero, and then the turn to end, and then the game ends. So life point damage. We're all going to take a uh, little bit. A little bit. I maybe played too conservatively, and maybe should have put Dark Magician on the left lane back here. But it looks like Ojama Yellow is holding out, and so the first zone over here is going to be uh, pretty much even. It's just going to get rid of that, so if my Celtic Guardian successfully reduces his life points to zero, and then the turn ends, we win. So we went from being last place to possibly being first place. Not too bad. Hopefully this has given you guys a better understanding of the product, for sure. But it is pretty neat. Like, honestly, like, I, I have been really excited uh, since I got into the beta test. Because it's been a while since I got into, like, an old, you know, fashion beta. But, um... The duel is over. And I think we just straight up win. You never cease to amaze hey, hey, we did it. So we got 10 points. And we did use the ticket. So, uh, we are now up to bronze 2. A high five just as good as any and we did get some more cumulative reward points and so that puts us at what Let's see if i can reduce some of the cpu usage make that a little easier that seems to be doing a little better okay cool all right so we did get a box what's in the box uh materials gems and common materials i haven't tried crafting yet we did get some trust points, though. Slowly but surely becoming Seto Kaiba's ever-faithful companion. Alright, so I want to go ahead and... I guess... See how many booster packs we can open, just to try to get some cool cards, and then finally upgrade some of our monsters. Uh, yeah, ABC, I, I think that's a fair assessment, for sure. Alright, so let's go to the shop. And I want to uh, take a look at what our materials do. So in the metal shop, you can spend metals to get items for customizing your monsters. Oh, the items are the cost to enhance them. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, it says trade cards contain a new card by using duplicates. Okay. So looks like we got all the fan favorites here, right? Blue Eyes White Dragon, Summon Skull, Guy the Fierce Knight. Of course, I skipped these two because you can pick them at the beginning. But you've also got, you know, Blackluster Soldier. Uh, you have some of the Pendulum Boys, right? Stargazer Magician. And you have Gaga Ga, uh, Girl, Gaga Ga Magician. Some also really cool, popular spell... Excuse me, spells and traps. True Blazing, but this is not supposed to be that type of game. It really is meant to capture your imagination and familiarity with the characters of Yu-Gi-Oh, but not supposed to be Yu-Gi-Oh, right? We've got great games for that. Uh, Master Duel, Speed Duels, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So there's a lot of different ways to play 
different Yu-Gi-Oh! Digitally. Uh, but, but this is not supposed to be that. Uh, I guess we gotta start reading. Let's see, breakthrough skill... Uh, opponent's monsters are negated. I like that some quotes. Uh, we've got... Uh, opponent's monster gains phantom. Cannot deal battle damage to players. That's interesting. Okay. That's good. That's way good. Uh, change the monster attacking your defense position. Uh, we, we have that. You don't really need... Uh, I will trade... Maybe. Let me read other cards first. I know. Winter means a lot, but winter could mean 2022, technically, via fiscal uh, reporting. So we'll see. Recover 100 life points for each monster you control. Uh, all monsters in defense mode have their skills negated. Um, when one of your monster battles an opponent's, all your monsters gain 200 attack and defense. Uh, probably not all the cards, right? If you notice, they just don't... Oh, I could just get like a bunch of these and make like an equip beatdown deck. Choose a player and deal 300. Uh, select a monster and gain super speed. Man, that would be interesting to like get Dark Magician out on the side and just go in. So we don't need the extra shadow spells. We don't need that. And how many points? Oh, I need 25 cards to trade. So I actually do not have enough cards to trade. So we'll have to come back. Let's go to the card gotcha then. That makes sense though. We now understand how the uh, card materials work. So here's card gotcha. Oh, Blazing, just to add, uh, they just don't give you enough cards to do that, right? Where are your beginning nights? Where are your uh, evening twilight nights? Without all of those uh, cards that you familiarize yourself with of what a Blackluster Soldier deck is, you're going to have to choose monsters that are your new favorites here. Speaking of new favorites, let's see what new favorites we get out. Uh, we can certainly check. There's not a lot of um, consanguinity. There's no relation between the elemental heroes, right? They don't have hero-based support yet. We can certainly give it a shot. Hey, Onyx, doing good. Speaking of E-Heroes, looks like we're getting them. All right, Junk Warrior. Okay, one tribute, 23. Uh, is that a little bit better than him? Yeah, technically, unless you want to play it as a win deck. And then Stargazer Magician. Okay, got another cool pull. Ooh, the poor audio on this. We might, we might reboot this real fast. Just because it's starting to get a little crazy. All right, Gaga Magician, cool. Top screen, e e e e yeah, it is not happy. Okay, give me just a half second here. I'm gonna see if I can't fix the audio. I fam. I'm fixing the audio, I promise. Uh, what would I do? I'd hit home. And then, do I want to log out of the app and just restart the app? Yeah, I want to log out of the app and restart it. Uh, oh, the back button's currently disabled. Alright, let me open, and then we'll go... I'm trying to swipe real fast. There we go. I'm gonna free up some memory... Hey, the Ojamas did a lot of good for us, so we don't want to forget our friends. But it's true that we're not running, like, a light defensive deck, so, uh, nah, maybe we don't want to keep it. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we may, we may not. Uh, there is a concerted effort to um, show you guys some other Yu-Gi-Oh! content, because, again, this is a very exciting time. Uh, I certainly will be streaming more Duel Links in the future. Uh, Monday, I wanted to give you a heads up on... Uh, we're going to be opening up the Millennium Puzzle. Did it keep my stats? Yeah, I did keep everything, so we're good on that. Uh, let me try a Raid Duel to see if we can't participate with other friendly friends. Raid Duels are not available. Raid Duels start on October 11th, which is going to be... Is that next Monday? It is. We might try out Raid Duels on Monday, just in case the puzzle uh, turns out to be really fast. There's Tag Duels at Well, which is a one-player mode where I think you team up with somebody else. Well, in the interest of showing off all the new things, let's take a look at tag duels. Okay, so we share life points with our partner. Our team's life points can be increased by sending monsters down the lane, facing your partner. Uh, if you want to win, make sure to work as a team. Oh, you 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 give them life points. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh, level one, Yami Yugi and Seto Kaiba. Uh, so Extreme Enigma, no, um... This is not a speed duel. This is not a master duel. It's a cross duel. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Okay, I'm really glad that I messed around with the other features here because there's some really cool stuff. Once I defeat you, everyone will know I'm the greatest duelist in the world. Not quite duel links. 
I will defeat you once and for all. Not quite master rules, but it'll make sense shortly. So I'm going to explain this from the top. For those of you guys who've been here, that's fine. But I want you guys to really understand what a cross duel is and why it's unique. So this is a lane-based game similar to League of Legends or Pokemon Unite, but with cards. And so you're going to use everything you know about Yu-Gi-Oh! to play this game. But right now, we are in a tag duel. And so the enemy team's up here. That's the enemy team, Yami Yugi. I don't know who our Seto Kaiba is. I assume it's the one on the left, but I guess we'll find out. What you do is you deploy your cards by sending them attack or defense into lanes. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just put the Celtic Guardian right down the center. I will put an Ojama in defense mode. And I'll put another Ojama in defense mode. And I will set a trap, and the trap will be for Celtic Guardian. Oh no, yeah. Well, the good news is they give you a lot of items when you come back to Duel Link. So hopefully you're able to kind of pick back up where you left off pretty fast. I thought about that. Maybe we'll do that in February, Blazing, for sure. Because there's going to be a second set of puzzles released. So this is weird, right? We're all summoning our monster because we all played our cards. I'm summoning the most. And uh, it's the battle phase. So in the battle phase, we all move up to the next dot. So if you're here, right, if you see my mouse, you're going to move over here. If you're uh, here, you're going to move to the center. So the ones in the center move to the center. Uh, I'm not going to play any spells or traps or anything like that. So again, we're just going to move up. So I'm about to fight this monster in the center here. And so I am activating my trap card reinforcements. It automatically activates whenever these two monsters fight. So I'm going to gain uh, a couple of attack points up to 2,000. And so now 2,000 is bigger than 1,500. But different than Yu-Gi-Oh, my monster is still going to be small based on the mathematical difference between their attack and my attack. So, so far nothing's happened, right? Draw. Got block attack, I like that. But our Celtic Guardian's looking kind of weak. We know that uh, this is not the enemy Seto Kaiba? I don't think it is. Can I rotate that? Does it actually say? Just says that the enemy team's up there. We know this is a zero attack Ojama, so I'm not even worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and tribute to and attribute our Ojamas. And we're going to send Dark Magician behind Celtic Guardian. And then after that, we end our turn. Well, Blazing, you know I don't give any spoilers. That's one of those things where if you'd like to know more about Zexal, you can watch it completely for free, both in English and Japanese, depending on what website you go to. But it, it's a great show. You know, to answer the question, I'm not going to say why it's great, but it's it's really more fleshed out than a lot of the other Yu-Gi-Oh! shows. Just, just saying. It's, Zexal's good. Don't cut it short. So he's summoning Karibo. Um... Well, I don't think that that Karibo is going to even get past. I love the animations, right? That why uh, Dragon Head. It's why Dragon Head, right? Right, Grandpa Moto is not getting too old. Uh, what is it? Press and hold to see what card it is. The only thing that's weird is that, like, where you're supposed to click. Yeah, it's why Dragon Head. Um, it, it's just so much more, like, alive. I kind of want to block attack. Oh, it wasn't fast enough. Ah, missed. I wanted to stop him, but I technically can still stop him at his gate. Good hero forever, welcome back! Crown Prince has returned. Alright. So the Ojama just gives us life. I mean, I'm sure that's like Vox's religion, but uh, joking aside about fan favorite cards, by having that come court. Oh, hey! Speaking of which, thanks, Lonely Cloud. Hope you're enjoying uh, this very early look at Yu Gi Oh! Cross Tools. It is cross tools, yeah. So interesting. Light Force Sword, I think might actually just do what it does. If I could just get to a point where I'm allowed to click. The only, like, my only feedback is clicking. I need to be able to click. Oh, dude, ABC Best Deck. Those games are so good. We have streamed those before. I still have them on my DS. Uh, what did that do? Other players cannot summon their ace monster until the end of the next turn. Oh, we can't summon Dark Magician, but we already have. So this... We just want to let our opponent send the monster, but we're going to stop this. So I'm just going to put a Karibo in defense mode. And that's kind of all we got. Uh, we could slow him down by hitting block attack. Uh, and I think we're just going to run over the Karibo. Well, <laughs> you don't get that number one spot for nothing, that's for sure. And I don't know if you saw Hero Forever, but we were able to actually successfully implement a lot of different emotes. Um, since you have been gone... 
but specifically thanks to all the generous donations and stuff that you did, including the gift subscription. Now we have all of those that was really brought to you by, by you. So thank you. Um, okay, so we are in the battle phase. Let me get back on track here. I'm going to play block attack. We're going to click that monster. We are going to switch his monster to defense mode, which is basically going to jam his lane for a turn. Because if it's in defense mode, it doesn't move. And so I want to say that's all we're going to do. And then onward. Um, I think right now, because of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 and Duel Links, that's probably my favorite right now. Oh, hey, Gnarly Emperor! Well, we could summon Dark Magician if if that was the only one. But look, our, our Dark Magician's already made it to where he needs to be. Uh, 700 attack, we're, we're gaining life points. I love this idea of sending monsters to your friends. They do! Oh, if you guys would love me to read the flavor text... From this game, I'm happy to take a second to do that because I love flavor text for sure. So yeah, we'll take a look. But yeah, all monsters are normal monsters until proven otherwise. Oh, I just noticed. Okay, so I was right that the Seto Kaiba to my left is my friend, right? Because the light points we gain. But you could also make it that much easier on yourself by looking at the little icons. See, this is blue indicating that he's on the same team as this blue Seto Kaiba. And red Seto Kaiba is our friend. Flavor text is text that doesn't do anything in terms of it's not an effect. It's typically in Yu-Gi-Oh! on normal monsters uh, or non-effect monsters because there are some monsters that have flavor text that are not normal monsters. Um, but yeah, it is... I think... No, I guess there are no non-effect monsters that don't have... Like, the fusion monster just doesn't have flavor text, which is really sad. But it just is like... Stuff. Oh, because those emotes, those sub badges, everything we have was based on certain monthly caps that uh, really weren't going to be likely based on the community we have. And what you did is you basically like put a put a shot in our arm, a good kind of shot, and we're 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 good to go. And so as a result of that, Hero Forever Two Nine Two, we have access to emotes, badges, all kinds of content on the stream that. Other people I've seen who really should have that don't because they don't have a hero like you. So, <laughs> thanks again. I mean that. I a spell card. So, Gnarly Emperor, to get back on your question, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel. It's a new mobile game that's currently in beta and for some reason doesn't have a non-disclosure agreement attached. And I read and I read and I read and I, and I doubled and triple checked. And uh, yeah, we're just allowed to, to enjoy this. So, the Blue Eyes is, is going forward... My sincere hope is that my Quillbolt Hedgehog will slow him down. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. It does. Every Most magic cards, I would say, have flavor text. I think all Vanguard cards have flavor text. A lot of Pokemon cards have it. It's just the text that describes the card. Not its effect, but just something about the, the art that's in the card. The character that is the card. All right, so I think we're fine. We just go battle phase pass, right? And then we've won our first uh, tag duel. Oh, well, we do get to summon a hit Pippo. Uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll put this in attack mode. And I'll summon on top of the same lane. Oh, it won't. If they're in the starting spot, it won't let us do it. Then um, we'll send back up for hit Pippo. And uh, yeah, ready up. Well, it, it just is true that we wouldn't have gotten a chance to do it without you. I mean that. So thank you again. For sure. Interesting. It, it's That's something that's changed, Alec, because uh, even as recently as like um, two years ago, I, could, I can't think of the game I was playing, but the beta test was really like, don't show this. Still in, still in progress. And this is really, this is exciting. I love the future that they want us to share these betas so we can show it off to you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I do this uh, usually two nights a week. The last two weeks, I, I really do want to apologize to you guys. I've just been under the weather, and I'm not dying or anything, thank goodness. But I just didn't physically have uh, the ability to stream on the last two Mondays. We made it up last week on Tuesday. We were able to fix that. Uh, we can't do a makeup stream this week, but next week should be just all the normal stuff. Should be Monday, should be Wednesday, should be Friday. Because I miss you guys. I do. Like, this This is something... When I got Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duels working, I wasn't like, ah, the Cross Duels are just for me and nobody else. I was like, oh. <sighs> well, we'll show them Wednesday, and here we are on Wednesday. So it looks like, uh, in talking, I apparently missed the part where I lost my Dark Magician. Uh, Seto Kaiba on our team is holding him out pretty well. But we gotta send a monster down that center lane fast. 
yeah, yeah, that actually is a wholly accurate uh, description of Lonely Cloud and what Card 5 Vanguard is. It's a cool game. I, I have no, like, obviously I love Yu-Gi-Oh, right? You can see that I love Yu-Gi-Oh. But there's a lot of other cool card games out there, and the more you play uh, all kinds of different card games, the more, like, you get, like, just a better sense of, like, what a good card is or a bad card is or how to, like, figure out different strategies and stuff. And so my time in Card 5 Vanguard definitely helped me in Yu-Gi-Oh! And same thing with Magic and same with Pokemon, etc. So I feel like if Karibo gets over here and attacks that Seto Kaiba, we win. But just in case, I'm going to put uh, Sonata the Melodious Diva in the center lane and then ready up. No, and that's fine. That's fine. It's one of those things where uh, that's good. Whenever you haven't heard of something, that means that you have that much more uh, adventure and excitement. You get to live um, your best life, really. So, all right. There's a Celtic Guardian. It's coming to hit Kaiba. Okay. I can't believe they're using, like, the real... It's, like, not quite the exact real music from the soundtrack, but it's very close. Uh, I don't need to stop any defense, so basically... Oh, he did put something over here. Okay. It's like, you in what? It's, it's like he did want to go forward early. And yeah, we're going to gain life points, and that's great, but I really need this monster over here to get forward. So yeah, we did lose our Karibo. That's uh-oh uh territory for sure. And then these two monsters are going to fight... And I don't really have any way to stop the uh, attack, so it's going to be down to 600. I do. I actually uh, know Tyler the Great Warrior's father. And um, just, just as somebody I got a chance to work with, the story is absolutely true. Um, it's one of those things that you, you just never want that to happen to a child, of course. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, everybody did their part. And Tyler the Great Warrior, the card, was a big part of that, for sure. Oh, I see. Yeah, um, this computer was built to do uh, different things to just stream this game specifically. And uh, I do, you know, VFX work and stuff like that. So right now the computer's holding it okay. And uh, honestly, I, I just, I like this game. Whoops. Uh, okay, so we have got to get some damage through. So I think what I'm going to do is just... I keep throwing Avion down the middle, but I feel like if I threw... We'll figure out. I'm just going to throw Avion down the middle. Path of least uh, resistance. Yeah, it's one of those things where I don't know this game is going to be for everybody, but that's okay. You don't have to like every single uh, thing within a franchise, right? You're allowed to like speed duels, but not master duels. You're allowed to like dual links, but not cross duels. Uh, but I've been just just rare subsect of people where, like... I just like all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. It is cool blazing, but it happened under very tragic circumstances. So um, I always, uh, when talking about that, am very solemn. And you don't have to be solemn. You can be excited and be happy that a company wanted to invest in that way, etc. But it's just one of those things where it it's a tragic story for sure. And that's good, Vox. That's why that's why we get along, right? Opposites attract. All right. Um, I'm hoping that we just get through this, right? I'm just gonna hit ready. Interesting that it shows the hand of cards, and it does show that we're both top decking. So maybe, maybe I need to stop going as ham early on. We only got to do. It was twelve hundred. Now it's nineteen hundred. Uh oh. Every. Uh. I'm trying to figure out how to say this in Japanese. Donna boke. Yeah, that that a little is it's a little broken Japanese, but what good is a bokeh without a sukomi? I made a really high level Japanese joke. Uh, but hold on. Oh, yeah, they are doing the Supreme King event. I'm, I'm certainly going to farm that, and I and I do want to return to our regularly scheduled program in Duel Links, of course. But this is this is a, like, once-in-a-lifetime event to be able to stream this the week that it's out. It's time to... Thank you, DVSV Flood. We're... we're I'm, I'm just doing... I'm just going to throw people in that... Oh, but I can't. I'm just going to take 12. Ah, I, I need to get somebody over there. 
and his hand just keeps getting bigger and there's just nothing this is kind of going bad and this is the, the main phase of the last turn technically if i take 12 we still don't lose well, thanks for all time g many thanks for i know this is different it's one of those things where it's just like what are we streaming but we're doing that it, it is yeah lonely cloud that's a really great example of an era where Yu-Gi-Oh games didn't have to just be a Yu-Gi-Oh simulator right uh and so many fan favorite Yu-Gi-Oh games from Tower of the ages forbidden memories duelist of the roses capsule monster coliseum um even some of the other Yu-Gi-Oh games like dark duel stories they're not real Yu-Gi-Oh simulators the cards don't do what they say they do and so it is kind of a nice return to form oh yeah we do kind of know what moisture creature <laughs> <laughs> but I like I wonder what's where all the drills and the tools are coming out of. Oh, okay. Well, see, and that's why you know when we talk about that particular subject, uh, I am solemn because I do um, understand a little bit more now. When you say you're taking care of your mom, that makes a lot of sense. So good on you, Blazing, for doing that for sure. And when I say good on you for taking care of her. All right, I think we might just timer scan this. No, they're in the lead. How did this go so wrong? Yeah, and, and that is true. If you guys don't remember like the extended plot of the original Yu-Gi-Oh series buying through Dark Side Dimensions, but also through Instagram posts made through Kazuki Takahashi's Instagram, which is private now for some reason, it's wild. Um, he specifically made yugi grow up not to be the king of, of of dual monsters but of games and so yugi when he graduates high school wants to go into game development may have chosen me to ah we gotta try again that was one of the most challenging duels i've ever fought Please is that really moisture creature I executed my that's from uh capsule one it's not capsule monster Coliseum. that's uh duels of the roses right moisture creature so we we timed out. That's so weird. That is not what I would have expected it to look like from seeing the original card art. False bound. We streamed false bound, remember, for like one day. I will say on my like tier list of non-Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! games, I would definitely say that this is like a little higher uh than False Bound Kingdom for sure. Okay, we need to do We we disappointed Seto Kaiba, so I'm actually gonna change my tag partner to Jaden. Because I need somebody a little bit more positive. Confirm. Oh, he's got a rewards list. Let's go have some fun. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, that's a cute game for sure. Uh, okay, so we got Jaden. Now I want to make an elemental hero deck real fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shape Snatch. Shape Snatch can't look that weird, can he? Uh, I mean, that doesn't look that weird. Although, wait, 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 wait. If I pulled the Shape Snatch card art... You're telling me that the hand that he, like, tucks his brim with is a mechanical arm that he has on a stick. That is... exciting. Alright, so I'm gonna make the Tag Duel deck, and... That is not where you create your decks. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, no, I saw it. I saw it. I, I, that is a lot different. I do remember Yu-Gi-Oh! Online. Um, I didn't play it that much. I, I just wasn't... I don't know why I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! Online. There were just other Yu-Gi-Oh! games, right? In like 2006, 2007. We had like the GBA games leading into the Nintendo DS games. So that whole era. Um, that's so weird. That's so... All of the Moisture Creature stuff is just like boggling my mind right now. All right, we need to go to our deck editor real fast. Uh, where is just like the deck editor? Is it under cards? Edit. Oh, it's like under cards, then edit deck. Ah, that's fair. All right, tag. No applicable deck. We'll just make a new deck. And we're going to go new deck. And I want to make an elemental hero deck where it's just E-heroes. If I have enough cards. So we're going to make our ace. I don't own Neos. Oh, no. I don't own Neos. That's fine. We'll just, we'll have to figure it out. So I am going to go add... Can I not just make this my ace? Does it have to be another card? I want to make my ace. One tribute, 2100 attack. 
Oh, you select it and you go to deck editor. Okay. They need a thing that's like make ace and go to deck editor. Uh, let's go ahead and put in Zubaba. This is 15. 16 is good. Uh, what should be 2400 defenders? Honestly, not that bad. But I do need to add my heroes in. I actually don't have enough heroes. Oh, and you can also only add like one of each monster. Oh, cool. Orders to charge. What do you do? Select a monster with super speed. It gains blowback? Uh, boost movement speed. Blowback is the monster that battled has its attack and defense reduced by 500. Oh, that's cool. Like an aura. What time is it, Four Leaf? What time is it? Uh, Duel Generation, you know, people say it was pretty popular, but I feel like Legacy of the Duelist did a little bit better. Um, Duel Generation was a lot of Legacy of the Duelist basically on a phone, and it lasted from 2014 until relatively recently. They only canceled it uh, a couple of months ago, but I get it. They have to make room for all this other stuff. Oh, you got no animation. Wait, let me fix that. I can, I can fix that. Um, can I auto-create the deck? Confirm. Log in. All right, let's try that. We're just going to try that. But we got a new ace. A little easier to bring out. Don't have to, like, have that issue with, am I going to do it? Am I not going to do it? Am I going to tribute two? Because I feel like tributing two puts it at a massive disadvantage. So interestingly enough, for leave, it doesn't show you as having re-ups. Did it do it in the chat? It didn't show it in the chat either. I don't know what's going on with Twitch today. Like that Vagabond icon for your 1.5 years, 35, 36 months, excuse me, 36 months. That's a long time, fam. Um, all right, so we're going to try tag duels again. I'm going to try to brute force this and just not mess it up. So we're going to try. We're going with Jaden. We got an all new deck. We're going to begin the duel. Oh, I guess we don't get Jaden. They're probably still going to give a set of Kaiba. Got a brand new deck. <laughs> Give you four ninety nine US free. This is gonna be sweet. Oh, we do get Jaden. Okay, cool. Kind of duel we'll have. If you're not afraid to duel me, now's the time. To Clearly, win. Shadow, right? There just wasn't another good tag, so I figured uh, Duel Links would be the most duel appropriate links. tag to um, showcase this new app to other people who are interested in sort of mobile dueling the way that we are with Duel Links. Uh, Kenneth Andrew, this is Yu-Gi-Oh Cross Duel, brand new, beta only. But for whatever reason, the rules say that I'm, I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to stream a beta, which is something I haven't done in a long time. It's really exciting. Um, Castle Walls is for defense monsters. So I think we're going to put... I did not mean to put that there. Can I move that? Or is that just it? We're just we're just sunk. Um, it still gives us our Dark Magician deck, too. That's not... Did he get a race? I don't know. Uh... All right, I'm going to set a monster defense mode. We'll put a Jama Yellow... We're just going to send this down the middle lane. And I think put Wing Karibo in defense mode would be fine. And then, yep, yeah, it's go time. Yeah, that's true, guys. If you didn't hear, um, there was a big Twitch hack today. Uh, they have confirmed that the current release does not include your personal data, such as your password and, uh, you know, anything like that, like a stream key. However, that data probably is in the hands of somebody right now as a result of the leak. So even though it hasn't been widely disseminated on the internet, you probably want to change your Twitch password. So sorry, sorry for the bad news, friends. Uh, I don't know when this comes out to the public. I want to say probably early next year is when it feels, but the beta itself only lasts for about 10 days. So we are just trying to, you know, get, get the fun in while we still can. Yeah, it's like so close to being that do 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 How interesting. Alright, so we got Light Force Sword, which means we cannot summon our ace monster until the end of next turn. Oh, let me take a quick look. Uh Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. I wasn't expecting some dual link stuff. Uh so I apologize for missing that. Uh too good for dual links is the question. Well, we know it's too good for cross duels. Uh, when opponent's monster clears an attack and they get the attack, during your opponent's turn, if this card is in your graveyard, tribute two synchro monsters and specials in this card. It's not too good, but it doesn't seem like a card that would get a lot of use. Um, I'll put that, do I put that in the defense? No, I'll put that in attack. We're just going to go all in on the lane. Uh, when a monster activates effect that targets a monster, you control quick effect and vanish once you get from the graveyard and negate destroy that card. It is a two synchro monster. I actually think that would be fine for dual links. 
That's one of the first cards in a while where I'm just like, nope, that's that would be a okay. It really does. Oh yeah, anytime Lone Lacan. I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, some people don't know, they're not watching the, the Twitch news, whatever that is. Um I think we're okay. This monster's not gonna do anything. So we're just gonna advance our stuff and then I'm just I'm I'm gonna try to sit on Dark Magician. Not literally, not under me. But I'm just gonna try to wait a little bit before we go like two in there, because that seems to be what's been messing us up the last couple of duels here. Ah, yeah, the true box. Alright, so we got one. Got 800 points of damage in there. I'm just hoping it doesn't turn out like the last duel for sure. Yeah, it, it is really neat. It's only an open beta right now, but hopefully uh, it is released to the public pretty soon. So you guys can enjoy it. Maybe we can do like, you know, a cross duels tag night. Uh, Achacha Archer, middle lane. I'm playing this one totally different. I'm just like, every baby, middle lane until eventually we run out of stuff. It's neat to see 3D models on even these cards that don't usually get a 3D model like um, Ojama Green there. I wonder if Ojama um, King is in this. Alright, so he finally is putting a little pressure on. The question is, do I want a tribute to for Dark Magician and just go in on the side here? So none of the monsters have effects. And we certainly are going to see, if you look, it has no skill... Uh, no skill. Your ace comes equipped with a skill. Uh, oh no, it doesn't. I guess it has an effect independent of that. Uh, do you want to block attack? I am going to block attack. We're just going to tell him to wait a little. That basically gives the Ojama another lease on life, right? It's not going to have to fight the Y dragon head. So it has a little time. So yeah, let me go ahead and hit ready. Uh, it's possible just because they didn't record every combination of cards. Maybe when you play X head cannon with a different character, it says it, such as Seno Kaiba or Chaz Princeton if he's added to the game. But uh, right now, the only characters are Yugi, Kaiba, Jaden, Yusei, and uh, Zexel's Yuma Skumo. And that's it. All right, our Achicha Archer is still working its way up. We still got the lead on life points. Celtic Guardian is there. Uh, I think... How I'm going to do it is put Dark Magician in attack mode. Tribute the Ojama. No, don't tribute to the Ojama. Tribute this one and tribute the Ojama. Yeah, I got to do it. The Ojamas, that's what they're there for. Now that center lane is getting even more packed. But I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep packing the center lane. Clearly. I love that it's got the old anime vibe there. Hey, this is getting interesting. I summon a monster. All right, so he's going to summon Karibo. Yeah, 300 attack. Not a big deal. And even in a cross duel, yeah, that'd probably be the case. Big monsters would probably waste away those Ojamas. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. my words. This monster is no illusion. Come out. Okay. I don't know why you'd say it's not an illusion. But Ojamas could do things. They have potential. But Cyber and Dragon doesn't. Oh, that's fine, Alex. So, um, I, I tried to just go ham, but it was, like, too late. What I'm doing differently now is I'm just sending everything up the middle lane. I finally summoned my ace card. Uh, next turn, I'll probably bring out Celtic Guardian. So, Dark Magician is going to get a little smaller once he collides here. So this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel, a brand new mobile game uh, that is currently only in open beta. And so I wanted to share a little of that magic for you guys who may have not gotten into the open beta, because we are allowed to stream it, so. Yeah, the voice lines are cool. I love the puppet tool. Puppet tool is where it's none of these are like 3D representations of Jaden or, or Seto or Yu-Gi, but they have a little bit of movement, and they started doing that recently with uh, the Seto Kaiba challenge, where you dueled Seto Kaiba for Duel Links. True, but it's not about your card's attack. It's about what you do with your card. All right, so there's our Ajama, and I want to go ahead and set... Oh, we can't put the castle walls there. Set... I don't really need to set that trap. Uh, Ready. We're just, we're just going in. 
Only gotta do 2,500 if we miss the blue eyes. Oh, I totally forgot the blue eyes was coming. Uh-oh. Yeah, more characters, more monsters. It does seem to include uh, spots for Arc 5, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, which is so hype. Yeah, it's true. Limiter removal and all the other stuff. Okay, we might be in some real trouble here. Because we're about to take 3,000. So here's the battle phase. We don't have anything we can do. We're just going to hit ready. Oh, no. How are we even going to stop the blue eyes white dragon? I mean, we're only going to be doing like 400. We just have to hope we outpace his damage. And whatever monster I get needs to go into defense mode like immediately. So we're going to go up some light points from the uh, Gift of the Ajama Green. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. It's a new series. You may not have seen it, but a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s content is coming out soon, including a Nintendo Switch game called Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel. The entirety of the first season, 52 episodes times 22 minutes. Well, that's a lot of hours of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then finally, uh, there's some cross-integration with some of the other properties here. So we have just a few turns, but I, I believe... So I'm just going to throw down the Moki Moki here to stop the bleeding. Right, that is our biggest concern, is to put that in defense mode. Can I just set this trap over this? Oh, I couldn't, and it, like, auto-set it in the wrong spot. Ooh. Uh, ready? Yeah, we're just gonna try to keep that center lane. But Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel is used as a different form of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, oh, hey, thanks, Bonatol. Hope you've had an easy time reading the manga this week. I've heard there's been some plot twists, both of the manga and the anime. Um... Okay, so Dark Magician from Jaden has arrived on the scene. I a and that could cross over to an undefended set of Kai, but we might end up winning on this. I a so, I definitely think that, to a degree, that's what this game is supposed to be. It is supposed to be a celebration of all the different franchises, but really accessible, right? Even if somebody doesn't know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh, they're going to be like, oh, I kind of know about the cards. No and, thanks, right, it's the blue eyes. <laughs> By the way, Maximilian Pegasus's birthday is this Friday, so uh, stay tuned to uh, my Instagram and Twitter because I might be making some content for that. But it's true that like Sevens has had like a big moment, but Sevens does have to work a little harder than some of the other franchises. Oh, interesting! No one could win with these. Oh no, Dark Magician! Okay, so we blocked the attack. We're good, but the other monsters showing up. We're about to hit fifty. Oh no, 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 no! Okay, our Celtic Guardian beat his Celtic Guardian. Uh, I still have no information about whether the cards are officially coming out to the English, but we do have confirmations that Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's dubbed anime is coming out, which is awesome. The video game, which will have dubbed voiceovers, is coming out, and that those voices will probably appear in this game as well for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's content. So we're getting, we're getting a bunch of 7's. If you like 7's, you're going to get more 7's than you can imagine. If you don't like 7's, eh, you might get enough to at least taste it and see how you feel about it. We're in trouble, though. We're... I can't even beat just this ordinary cross duel, so... Uh, well, I won't be able to stream, but I am going to do some other Yu-Gi-Oh! content that day. Okay, so... But, you know, you know I love me some Pegasus. Uh, yeah, it has been confirmed from a children's magazine... Not aimed for children, but for aimed for the producers of children's television. Wild. Wild stuff. Uh, we'll just throw this in defense. We'll just try to stall out the clock and then do 14. And then... Uh, what's the... Put that in attack mode, actually. And then... Ready. So, yeah. Let me show you guys that real fast. But well, we're having a very repetitive turn here since we're just kind of, like, going in. So, there was a magazine. And the magazine was just basically from producers of children's television to other producers of children's television. Like, right, here's what I'm doing. Check out our stuff, right? Kind of like, a, you know, one of those typical web magazines you've seen before. And slipped in was Konami's big announcement. Hey, we have 52 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s already dubbed. So, check it out. Did he just, like, move his blue eyes back? Okay. Uh, impossible! Quite literally my reaction, right? We're still trying to get good at this. Uh, I'm pulling up my other Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook page, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unite. If you guys ever want just like general info about Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff as it comes up, I just kind of copy-paste news articles there. Sweet. But let me see. 
I will be streaming. Now, I will probably wear Pegasus in the future, and I do have some cosplay streams that are planned for Halloween, right? Because we're almost on Halloween now. But uh, that's not quite yet. Okay, so we got 2,600 life points every turn here. So maybe we're okay. But pulling from my Yu-Gi-Oh! Unite page... And going to the actual page of the letter here. Okay, this is going to be wild. I'm going to do this real fast. I'm going to add... So here's the magazine, right? And I don't know what page this is on. I'm just going to have to flip through. And it's supposed to get you hype for children's programming, right? But if you keep going here, I hope it's not too far in these 122 pages. I promise you this is worth flipping through um, the game teachers. All right, keep going. I know it's on the right side. Oh, there it is. So check out that noise. All new series now available. So that means not only do they have it, but they're shopping it out. So they're trying to sell it really soon here, which is really exciting. So yeah, formal confirmation that we're getting a Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 stub. And soon. Like, they're, they're like, hey, buy our episodes. You can air them on your network. So if you work at a television network and want to see Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, then, you know, start making your pitch now because buying the rights to distribute that show are up for grabs. Oh, I should have put Nojama down. So I'm gonna take an extra 300 that I need to take. But we are just like, just getting them. I like that it does it at the same time too, 2600, okay, cool. So we've almost got it. I think we might actually win this. Um, I wish this Ojama was in defense mode, but I will forgive Jane and Yuki for not knowing how to play Ojamas. You really could box, that's what's crazy. Like, you can. And a lot of times, uh, distribution rights aren't as expensive as you might think. For instance, like, um, a lot of movie franchises, I think Blade is the only one that kick off my top of my head. It was, and this is a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money for a corporation. It was $75,000 to buy the rights to Blade. And it was like $100,000, I think, to buy the rights to the tournament, ter uh, Terminator movies. Really do we get them? Do we get them? Did we actually do it? They, oh, what, we lost? Oh, we lost at the last second. We were so close. We were so close. Ah, okay. So close. All right. I want to do the great flavor text a thon. Because Blazing asked about it, and I think flavor text for monsters that don't have flavor text could be really funny. Yeah, I feel like Blue Eyes might have done it to us. Uh, let me go to the card catalog. Does that just show all cards in existence? It does. Okay, so we're going to read. Get this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enhance the size of the screen here. Cause I, I think this could be really funny or could not be really funny. We're, we're gonna read the flavor text of cards that didn't have flavor text in them before, but now do because of Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duels. Right, and if you don't know what flavor text is, as a reminder, it is the text very sideways here. Uh, oh, we can see it right here. It's the text that's right here. Like, this legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. That was written like a million years ago. What I'm interested in is Stardust Dragons. We're just going to go through a few of these. Uh, Stardust Dragon. One of the dragons that is said will... One of the dragons that it is said will appear to serve a possessor of the mark of the dragon. Selflessly serving as a shield for its allies, it stands as a symbol for the power of friendship. I think that's pretty good, actually. That, like, that feels like what would have been written on Yusei Fudo's ace monster uh, if it was there, you know, from the get-go. Uh, number 39, Utopia. One of the numbers monsters, the fragments of Astral's memory. It brings hope to those who have entrusted their dreams to its white wings of light. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what do we got for uh, Blackluster Soldier? Beckoning the light and guiding the darkness, its soul opens the gates of chaos. Rush forth and prove yourself worthy of the name Super Soldier. Pretty neat. So these are actually, like, really cool. Uh, take a look at Dark Magician Girl. The sole apprentice of the ultimate wizard. 
already entrusted with his magic, it is expected that she will surpass the master upon receiving his soul. Oh, and that's kind of a joke on like eternal souls, magician souls. Uh, well, we know the Ojamas. The Ojamas had tags. I'm reading the effect monsters specifically. The true form of the elemental hero is achieved through fusion. Nothing can withstand the scorching flames of its ultimate technique. Okay, scorching flames. Uh, more sight reads, Junk Synchron. It doesn't matter if you're helpless alone, if you have friends to empower you. Crank the engine with a recoil starter and create a force to build even stronger bonds. Synchro summon, right? Uh, these, these are pretty neat. Uh, Junk Warrior. A new power has awoken through the gathering of the stars. Given strength by the bonds of friendship, it unleashes a mighty scrap fist to forge a brighter future. Okay, it's cool. Uh, oh, wow, Debris Dragon. As it journeys beyond, no, excuse me, as it journeys across the boundless reaches of the cosmos, the light attracted to this dragon awakens the brilliance of the stars. Another little synchro pun. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, Zubaba Knight, confidently brandishing its dual blades, it resolves problems with a single well slap. Well honed slash. It's Zubaba slash usually has the final say in the fight. So it's interesting. He's got two swords, but he ends his fight with one of them. I guess you only have to take one of those. Those look very sharp. Uh, let's see. Gagaga -ga -ga Magician. A member of the Gagaga -ga -ga Academy. Zealously devoted to chivalry. Due to his kindness, he's strangely popular among the younger students. Okay. Uh, speaking of other Gagaga -ga -ga cards, a junior, probably says Kohai in the Japanese version, a junior of Ga- wait, did they misspell his name? Ga 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 Magician. Ga 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 Magician at Ga 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 Academy. Partnering up with a senior student she adores, she lets ring f the force of cell phone subtraction. I have to check to see if Ga 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 Ga, Ga Magician is that Xyz monster for Legendary Duel of Six. Oh, it is! Okay, so she is not a student of Gaga Ga Magician. She's a student of Gaga Ga Ga Magician. Okay, cool. We're, we're learning massive amounts of Yu Gi Oh lore. Alright, uh, Stargaze Magician for our new Pendulum friends, right, with the new release of the Yu Gi Oh Arc 5 world. Through the will of some unknown being, this wizard has been imbued with the force of the Pendulum. By resonating with their power to read the fractured time, they are expected to attain yet even greater abilities. That's a hit to some forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, let's see. Adia the Melodious Diva, which I think is an effect monster. I'm pretty sure there are very few uh, normal monsters in the Melodious archetype. When the phantasmic melody of this songster rings out through the air, travelers on the road cannot help but halt their journey to listen. These are cute. These are like really funny. Oh, Doriato is an old normal monster. Giant Soldier Stone. Force Raid is a normal monster, so is X Head Cannon. Well, oh, here's a new one. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't feel right not to click through here. I feel like later I need to make like the U the YouTube video that's like every uh, every card text from X Head Cannon, or excuse me, from all the normal monsters or whatever. And uh, yeah, there's some, there's some interesting stuff. I might have to do that and, and upload that later because that just feels like something that a lot of people may not get to see. And if they like normal monsters, that there you go. Um, Maneuvering through the air at will, this monster fuses and splits up in turn to unleash a variety of attacks. Yeah. The only YouTube video, but I just, you know, it just feels like it's something that people might want to see. And they also might want to see the model files as well. So, yeah, I might, I might have to do some off-stream recording and I'll try to get that up soon. Um, censored. Yeah, it is. So, they, they, even though we have the Lost Art version, um, her top's a little different and we're going to get that version in the TCG soon. But it seems like they decided to go ahead and put that in here. Got Elemental Hero Sparkman, whom we know. Everyone's favorite golden boy. Just so cool. Alright, let's not get too lost in that, but yeah, if you guys if you guys want me to see me do that, I definitely will do I will read the phone book to you guys effectively uh, um, in a future YouTube video. Yeah, but Sevens is like very real because real life is funny. Because bad things and good things happen, but what you do with those bad things and good things happening defines you as a person. And I think Seven's message is you can have a bad day with good friends and it still be like a memory worth cherishing. Uh, I won't go into all the Goha drama that's been coming up now. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven's fans, you know exactly what I mean. 
But uh, yeah, just, you know, it's just a different, it's a different time right now. Yu-Gi-Oh! is like so big in a way that it hasn't been in quite some time. All right, so pick it back up where we left off. Uh, I guess the Tagnal thing just isn't happening for me, so I might need to get more cards. So I'm just going to do a ranked match battle, and we're going to try... Begin Duel. I'm going to try the Jaden deck. Wait, cancel, cancel. I need to make sure I've got... Achoo! Excuse me. Achoo! Allergies. Um, let me switch our current deck to being this deck. And I don't know if this deck's going to be better or worse, but we're going to try it. Confirm... And there's our deck, and we've got our partner. Yeah, let's just try to, like, celebrate Elemental Heroes, and afterwards we can make, like, a Yusei Fudo deck and just go from there. I think we're probably, um... We might only end up doing cross duels tonight, because I'm, I'm frankly having a good time. And This is a limited time event, similar to the Kaiba Corporation Cup, where we only just get this one slice of time. Uh, but that said, next week is going to be a lot more Duel Links. I know you guys have been really patient with my health going in and out. But uh, we'll, we'll be doing a lot more Duel Links next week. On Monday, though, as a reminder... As a reminder, on Monday, pull the Rush Tools stuff down. We're doing this. We are going to solve our very own Millennium Puzzle. It's, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like under the box. Uh, I haven't messed with it at all, as you can see. 37 piece puzzle. And we're going to build a Millennium Puzzle on Monday. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. I mean, I could do six Duel Link streams, but it might just be turning on the camera, turning off the camera. Ooh, the favorite best friend duel. Uh, I kind of really like the one where Merrick has control of Joey and uh, Pharaoh get sidelined so that you know little yugi can have his moment in the sun speaking of having a moment in the sun what does security orb do uh battle position of the monster control is changed by the fact that gains immunity position change the land oh that's not i'll just put that in there and i think what we'll do is i kind of want to like just hammer the side lane and that's all i'm gonna do pass turn because we're on rank match so we're gonna find out what's gonna happen But that is the plan. So the Millennium Puzzle um, is being released everywhere for about $40 in uh, Western Territories. And it is up for pre-order right now. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it on Monday's stream. But if you enjoy the process of opening the puzzle, and I got my brand new 4K camera at the ready here. Um, yeah, we're going to be we're gonna be doing some stuff. Will it, become, will it become the real Pharaoh? Maybe not. But will I achieve Yugi's wish of making more friends by and through dual monsters maybe maybe i will we'll see uh that's the japanese puzzle but there's no instructions on either puzzle you are not told how to solve it you've got to do it yourself and i'm looking forward to all of us kind of figuring out where it goes the benefit of us though is our puzzle didn't come to us in a box like this uh we know what the final shape is right the millennium puzzle the reason why it's so difficult for yugi and all the people who couldn't solve it after solomon moto got it is like literally nobody knew what shape it took uh we'll just go ready well, is that like a hasted Celtic Guardian that's just going to go like really in? I think it is. But yeah, no, we're, we're, we're excited. And uh, we don't have to, you know, we've got the puzzle, so we don't have to do anything crazy to get it. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, so it's going to be Monday stream. It could have been, though. I wonder if there's other ways the puzzle could fit together, too. All right, so we lost nothing because we didn't send anybody in. These two monsters are just going to fight each other. Oh, and he's getting an attack boost, so he's going to be 1,500. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Michizure, whoa, is he going to take his monster out? Oh, it's collapse. Destroy this monster. Wow. We, like, figured out the right strategy by just not overcommitting anything. We just put one monster in. Uh, and then Order Charge is... Oh, uh, we can't actually play Order of the Charge because we don't have a single monster with uh, blowback. So it's literally a dead draw. Whoops! <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so it's the end of the turn. Here comes the destruction. No card effects. Nothing to stop that. Um, I want to wait to see if the guy on the left like does something with the ace. I love how this is basically just Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle Royale. Okay, so main phase, second turn. 
Oh, hey, congratulations! What you probably figured out, what I figured out long ago, is that, I, I don't know about you, but I just feel, like, even better as I continue to age, so I'm hoping that it is a happy birthday for you. Uh, are we streaming on the 21st? I need to, like, write that down. 21st. No, it's a Thursday! Well, I'll remember to wish you a happy birthday on the 20th and the 22nd. Um, okay, so, we gotta summon something. We're just gonna put this over here on the left side, just to see what happens. Just narrowly squeak that by. No, it doesn't come with the chain, so we'll have to supply our own chain. But actually, in the anime, he used to wear it with a rope. It's only about 10 centimeters, so it's about, like, this big. And personally, I was raised with just, like, a much bigger Millennium Puzzle because you guys haven't met me in real life, but I'm just shy of six feet. So I am a very tall Yugi, right? Like, you know, most of the time when I'm standing, you know, for cosplay pictures or whatever, this is where Yugi's head should be, and this is where my head is, right? I'm just like, hello! So, um, I've always done, like, different things to accent that, to make it, like, look normal in pictures. Uh, bigger hair, right? I do have bigger hair than most Yugi's. Um, bigger puzzle. You know, the dual disc, you know, kind of works it out. I'm not get- I'm not there, but I'm getting there. Looking forward to the, uh, centennial celebration. <laughs> Can't say that with a straight face. Uh, we just hit ready. We don't have any cards to play. No meaningful spells. Uh, I might. I have somebody in mind that I would like to play, uh, to, to have them play the deck, and then I would play it. I might do some curated remote duels. I, uh, we talked a little bit about opening it up, possibly, but I'm still figuring out other strategies, possibly doing them offline, that play with YouTube. Um, but a lot of that had to do with some recent, um, you know, just well-known Yuki, you know, content producers, Yu-Gi-Oh! content producers. I was going to say Yu-Gi-Tuber and I stopped a little too soon. But, uh, they, you know, people take advantage of all these different ways to, you know, access back doors, get through Discord, you know, the Twitch app today. And so I just want to make sure that we continue to be a safe and family-friendly stream. But I might be able to do that on, uh, YouTube videos that we might watch as a family afterwards. So we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um... I guess I'm just going to put another one on the side lane because I'm not like the, the middle lane is like the worst lane to be in. Uh, yeah, I'm ready because the middle lane, nobody's ever going to get through the middle lane. You both meet up, you fight each other. These guys fight each other and then whoever's left, then you fight them. So what do you get? Like a 2,500 attack monster gets reduced down to like 200. So... Uh, there's not a Cyber Strike part of the event yet. If you want the full FAQ, including all the cool stuff you can win, uh, and purchase, and purchase. Um, because they, this is the New York Comic Con event. Enter the Take a quick look here. Let's see, I'm trying to find the remote tool FAQ, but I can't seem to pull it up right this second. Uh, okay. We don't need to do anything. Ready up. We are gonna lose this mon- or out to this monster. Okay, remote duel extravaganza. Now I'm gonna be the uh, public events lead this weekend. If you guys aren't familiar with how the judge program operates, uh, not every judge is actively responding to judge calls. There are what I would call admin judges. They're uh, charged with making sure that all the judges are, you know, responding to your calls, getting to you in a timely manner, and helping the tournament continue to run in a fair but efficient manner. And that's going to be me this weekend. If you want to have a little bit more info, we'll probably go over this at the end of the stream. We end our turn. There's that. Uh, is there a Cyber Strike event, though? There doesn't seem to be. But there is the ability to make your own token with you and Zane Truesdale or you and Cyber Dragon or you and the new uh, fusion monster from Cyber Strike. So like there's a bunch of things you could do. Oh no, the ace is coming. All right, so here's my theory of the case. Battle Mania does what? Okay. Battle Mania is when your opponent, when your monster battles an opponent's defense monster, your monster gains provoke. Provoke is change to attack. Oh, that's cool. We gotta do something. Okay, tribute, tribute, tribute. Oh no, we're just gonna take 25 to the face. Ah, I should have. Okay. Got a little too too excited there. So the structural uh be a full schedule there. Let's see. FAQ. 
Do we have a Cyber Strike event? We don't. It's still going to be the Egyptian God cards. So if you have either of the Egyptian God card mats, there's also um, a new main deck extravaganza mat of Trap Tricks, and there's a purchasable mat. Uh, a couple of other really neat stuff. Wow, there's so many cool things. Uh, we will talk all about that at the end of the stream for sure. Okay, so what's the plan? The plan is to tribute this monster, bring out Flame Wingman, and just pray. Ah, <laughs> this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel. Unfortunately, there's not another tag for me to stream on, but I figured a mobile game would appeal to other Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links fans like me and everybody else here who usually joins us on Mondays and Wednesdays. But Mama Murphy, if you got questions, I don't blame you. Because this is, this is a different kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! mobile game. So we're in last place, and we got to fix that fast. A lot of it has to do with that Dark Magician being there. So we are going to work that miracle. We're going to tribute our monster here. And I'm actually going to put the defense position. Alright, cancel that. Wait, want to go defense mode? Yes, okay. Tribute, complete. Okay, tribute some of that monster. I'm going to put another one that has 1600 attack here. And then Battle Mania. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll have Provoke. Set it. Forget it. I don't quite like the choices it made for this deck. I might go back to my old one, really. So this is actually only available for mobile devices, but I have uh, a mobile device equivalent hooked up to the computer so that I can share this content with you. Because phones don't stream quite well, right? I could grab a camera, hold it over something, but that wouldn't be quite as fun as having the direct thing. But let's see if we can do this. Um, we're definitely going to hold out here. Yeah, and you can purchase it in the U.S. and Canada, if you happen to live in the U.S. or Canada. And uh, it's $30 U.S., and they just mail it to you. You just have to make sure to watch that page. October 8th is when that sale is going to go live, and so it's going to be Friday morning. And if Yu-Gi-Oh's popularity, it's almost like more popular now than I remember it being when I was a kid, even though the show kind of gave like bigger brand awareness. But like Yu-Gi-Oh is big right now. So if you want that mat, you're going to have to uh, try to get that super special awesome play mat by waiting in line virtually just like everybody else. So I wish you the best of luck on that. Uh, just because, you know, the Wind Dragon and Raw support came through a different uh, medium. Uh, Blazing, uh, can I ask you, do you follow or watch Team APS? And then Mama Murphy, to answer your question, this is an open beta. You had to be, uh, you had to apply for this and then get invited to it, but they might do a second wave of open betas where anybody can download and play uh, pretty soon here. And uh, I have been explaining the mechanics every single duel, and I will do that from scratch once we get to the next thing. Did he retract his Dark Magician? I, I, I guess so. Oh, they didn't want to reprint Volcanic Rocket. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so we're just hanging out here. Okay, so we're still in last place. We need 5,500 life points to move from the Duelist 1. And we kind of need to steal some wins over here. So, this is good. But I want to put a Speed Warrior behind it. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to leave our one tribute defender in defense mode. Oh, Dark Hole. Thank you. There was a Dark Hole, and I just didn't register it. And it was. Dark Hole is in the center area. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, Alan. At least you're paying attention. Oh, being a dual tainer. Interesting. Okay, so a lot of the fight seems to be on the, the vertical. Nobody's really coming to us, which is fine. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, we'll probably tribute the Speed Warrior for Flame Wingman to help get over that monster. But he's got pretty good lanes. It feels like defensive strategies seem to be the better way to play this. But if you're always defending, you're not attacking, and therefore you can't win. But uh, yeah, it's I haven't quite cracked the code on this. All right, so Elemental Hero Spark Band doing good work, and uh, those two monsters collectively should be able to get through. We are going to see our first. Oh, it's working! Battle Mania is going to turn to attack mode. It's our chance. Okay, this is huge. 
I think that has like what 800 attack mode if I remember Trickstar Lillibell right yeah 800 so we're gonna do 100 damage and then our follow-up monsters are gonna get there interesting is blaze cannon too good for dual links let me take a quick look at blaze cannon's effects uh always free is a blaze accelerator you can still search it out uh, one winged dragon of raw you control gains the following effects unaffected by opponent's card effects that doesn't seem that big of a deal it's kind of like forbidden lands and chalice at the same time when an attack is declared involving this card you contribute any number of monsters that did not declare an attack this turn and this card gains equal attack to the attributed monsters yeah and damage cal extend all monsters actually i don't think it's that that like too good i think it's like a one-off that merrick can unlock would be fine all right, so we got to get, like, stuff done fast. And I think we have a good defense here, and it seems that he's putting everything over there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to, just to kind of, like, have something going on, I'm going to summon that there. I'm going to tribute summon. Wow, I never thought I'd say that. Uh, get rid of Sparkman and put Flame Wingman down, and then hit ready. Yeah, I would. That's, that's the reason why. That's, like, my thinking is that it's kind of a win more card, and so for that reason, it should be fine. All right. He's summoning a monster. It's Giant Soldier Stone in attack mode. I think he, like, sends his blood in the water. But hopefully, um, well, I guess it was a good idea to put the Gagagon Magician. Uh, looks like Gagagon Magician's going to lose out, though, when it fights the monster over here. Technically, I could turn the Gagagon Magician to defense mode when it gets over here and not have it advance and not pressure him. Oh, Selected Monster gets a thousand attack and loses a thousand defense. Man, we need to get more masks of brutality. Because I'm seeing that what some of the other players in ranked have that I don't is just key cards, right? This is what early Yu-Gi-Oh uh, used to feel like. And they do still have those. They're called legendary duelist packs. And so instead of being based on one character, usually they're based on five now. And all the great raw support, including Blaze Cannon, did come in one of those packs. And those are my favorite booster packs, honestly. Like, I can never stop opening enough of those particular sets. Because it's just like everything. Oh, I want all of this. Awesome. So, Shadow Spell. Oh, he's targeting our monster to reduce its attack. Ooh. So it puts it down to uh, by a thousand? That's, not, that's better than the real Shadow Spell. Ah, uh, yeah, that we're getting more shark support. Baryons are here, so that's exciting. And uh, could be interesting for Duel Links. Uh, no, actually, usually they are less expensive than normal booster packs. Uh, the MSRPs are typically like $2.99 or $3.99. So, um... Oh, no, they're $1.99 or $2.99, excuse me. They're... they're Usually about a dollar or two less, but they only contain five cards and no guaranteed holographic card. Okay, this looks good. Did he... Did... Man, this is crazy. Okay, defensive bonus boost by 200 if in defense mode. I like Stargazer Magician. I'm not going to lie. If I pumped up its defense, it feels like the ace killer. All right, looks like everybody's loaded back in. We're still way in last place, but this is our moment right here. All right, this is the final turn. Okay, so ain't nothing to it but to do it. Nothing's coming this way. Doesn't really matter what's going on here. This is perfectly defended. So put the hippo in. And uh, ready. I think we gain 17. That puts us to 31. He loses 17. That brings him down to 22. Ah, summon a monster. Help us lead really good with, like, the right combination of defensive monsters. That would be cool. That would be cool. And, um, I'm really glad that they've been, like, celebrating Zexel. But we'll see when those cards come out. People may not feel like it's a celebration after all, right? True, true, Chris. It doesn't need any more support in Duel Links to a degree, uh, especially with that skill floating around, but it might actually be really helpful to TCG fans. Man. Emergency Teleport! Does that really do what I think it does? Is it just, like, warp to another lane? Where's he going? Where's he going? He didn't say. Okay, ready. Oh, uh, we talked about why that one was too good. Alright, 100. No big deal. Brings that down to 5,000. 
I bet too much on this, on this interaction right here. I feel like you gotta have your game plan pretty well figured out by like turn six, because all somebody has to do is just drop something and you're done. Because we lost our first duel, I think it's third place in ranks. We couldn't beat tag duels. We got first place in our second duel, right? Victory Royale. Uh, but now, not so much. I do remember that, Nathan. Again, you never know till it's out, right? People leaked that Dr. Octopus was supposed to be in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because the data files had information that indicated that was likely. We never got Doc Ock. So, can't quite, can't quite believe it. Oh, no. You can't do a twofer. So, I'm going to pick right hand shark because it's the first one there. But, uh, let's see. Right hand shark. So, time up. Uh, okay, when this card's normal summon, add a left hand shark from reject your hand. If this card is in your graveyard and you control no monster, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field, but it won't leave the field if it exceeds material. An exceeds monster that was summoned only using water monsters, including this card in the field, gains this effect, cannot be destroyed by battle. Whoa, whoa, that's already way too good. And uh, looking at left hand shark. Left hand shark is not as good. Right hand shark is too good for dual links. Oh, interesting. Okay. We'll see, but things change, though. They do change. All right, so we got no points. Made a little bit of progress. Almost got to open something up. Seto Kaiba trusts us a little bit more. All right, let's let's uh, let's change that deck and maybe buy a few packs here. And, and that's intentional. That's not supposed to be something we do all the time. Ooh, Ancient Chant. Uh... Yeah, they couldn't do the flames right, so he became Super Scroll. I do remember that, actually. It's weird, like, how open game development companies used to be in uh, interviews like that. Ancient Chance. Ancient Chance. Add a Wing Dragon and Rod, and Contribute Summon. If you Tribute Summons... I, I don't think it's too good, but I think it'd be something that only Merit gets access to as a one-off card. Um, and then, you know, everybody else can play it, but I, I, think, it's, I think it's okay. Uh, let's see what some of these other cards do. Let's rev it up! Scared me a little bit because the volume difference. Uh, let me fix that. Uh, do do do. Where's my? There we go. It's the first jump scare of the evening. Uh, too good for dual links is only supposed to be two per customer per stream. But let me take a quick look and see if we can't fix that. Because it may just not be reading what I said right. It also has a one minute uh, recast timer that I can't change. So check it again in a minute, Chris. And if it's still out, just let me know. Alright, Sun God Unification. Lacing might be beating you to it. You might just have to stand on there. Um, how many cards would I have to trade? Oh, you only have to give... No, four super rare cards. I see... I see how this works. It's 25 cards for an ace. So what if I wanted just like so-so cards, like these giant soldiers of stone everybody has? Trade. Take a look at Sun God Unification, I promise. Just trying to get over there. 20, and I don't have 20 extra cards. Okay. So I cannot trade right now. Sun God Unification, that's a tribute one, right? Yeah, if you control a monster whose original name is Raw, uh, you can activate this card. The turn it was set, so you just set it, do it. Main phase, pain to leave 100 life points. One special summon, Wing Dragon Raw, you control. Gains all of that. Uh, once per turn, you can tribute a Wing Dragon around your game. It's it's like not too good. I don't think you would run it in Duel Links though, because you're not going to special summon the Wing Dragon Rod that often in Duel Links and have it survive. Uh, yeah, we ain't got nothing. What about commons? Oh, here's some normal cards. Um, Threatening Roar seems actually pretty good. When a monster attacking you, when attacked directly, uh, trade. How many of those can I get? Twenty five. I am just going to have to sit with what I've got, so we cannot acquire new cards. Literally unplayable. Well, you just tribute two monsters, right? So, I think what we'll try to do instead, then, is go to our cards and maybe customize our monsters and see if we can't, like, figure some stuff out. Oh, neat. Okay, yeah, those are all really cool Wolverine-era cards. Uh, let's see what we can do with Flame Wing Man. Uh, increases attack by 100... Yeah, let's start with that, so that way we get like a one tribute big monster right off the bat. So attack boost, attack boost. And then this is going to be 
Deals a thousand when attacking a raid boss's weak point. We don't need that. Uh, when attacking an opponent's attack position monster, change it to defense. Oh yeah, we definitely want that. Confirm. Um, intimidate. I like that. Uh, boost defense. Not a big deal. Deal. No, that's a raid thing. Uh, when I'm battling, reduce defense by... Oh, okay, yeah. Let's unlock all the way over. So, it might be... Uh, there are no pendulums and cross tools. There's just pendulum cards and cross tools. If you haven't noticed, Blazing, there's also no Synchro Xyz, etc. But those cards still appear as normal monsters. Uh, that's really weird. Let me see what's going on there. Uh, do 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 I'm going to my dashboard here. Well, at the same time, trying to figure out what we're going to do next. Uh, oh, it unlocks the monster's unique skill. Tap to see details. Uh, all of your monsters gain Crusher. Inflict 300 after destroy. Oh, it just does like tr uh, a little bit of effect damage. Yes. All right. Viewer rewards, channel points, manage rewards. And this one I'm going to try to do. This usually works. If I just turn it off and then I turn it back on, then it should do it. So I've done that. Well, everything's a pendulum, right? No pendulums, all pendulums. All right, so that gives us that. Let's see. More attack boosts. Uh, more attack boosts. That gives us raid boss stuff. We don't care. Raid boss stuff, we don't care. We may later. We may be very sad when it goes. When battling. Uh, yeah, let's go this way and do the trampling stuff. So basically, we're making Flame Wingman, you know, our ace. And so, unlock... Confirm. And then it's got a locked one down here. Immunity to effects that negate skills. Oh, interesting. Uh, well, let's stop. We'll, we'll stop boosting that up for now. The other monster that I really liked in our last duel was... Um, honestly, I feel like this is the ace killer. Okay, okay. Uh, I, again, I'll visit with you about on YouTube and we'll, we'll see. Because again, I feel like that's just the safest way to do it. But more on that as that develops. Alright, so. Boost attack by 200. We don't want to boost attack. We just want to boost defense. So we're going to have to get over there and like boost its defense. And then boost defense. And then... Uh, unique skill. Immunity from destruction effects. I like that. Unlock. What is this like discount light force sword? Can be summoned with one less summoning material by reducing attack and defense by... Oh, but that's so expensive. I guess it's good if you're, like, if you're broke, but what's this? At the end of the battle phase, increase default defense. Oh, yeah, no, we're doing this instead. What's this heart do? Uh, confirm. Uh, LP gain when assist healing. Oh, so that's when you, like, send it to your friend. LP gain when assist healing. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Um, immune to effects that reduce attack and defense. I like, you like that, confirm. Uh, okay. So we've done quite a bit of customization. I hope those have stuck. I assume they are, because you can only own one uh, copy of any card. Uh, let me see, can you enhance trap cards, or is it just, mon it's only monsters. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I think... That's what we're going with. Does it show our deck here? It, it's actually, like, pretty neat. Like, it, it, it's, like, a very fully... It's a different game. It's not quite Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's pretty fleshed out. Um, I want to see if this new deck is going to help us beat this raid duel that we're stuck on. Yeah, we got we got Jaden. Uh, he's got his, his deck. We got our cards. Yeah, let's go in and see if we can't efficiently do this. Oh, it did work. Okay, cool. Blaze Accelerator Reload, then. Good deal. Let's take a look at Blade. I think I've already said this one, but I want to give you your money's worth and tell you why I think it's too good. Blaze Accelerator Reload. Um, it's not in Duel Links. Okay, so it becomes Tri Blaze Accelerator. Well, that's skipping a step for sure, because then your Doomfire is even better. During either player's main phase, you can send a Volcanic card from your hand to the graveyard, except Eruption. And if you do, draw one card. Uh, during the player's main phase, banish a card from a graveyard, send a volcanic from your deck to the graveyard, except... Oh, because I feel like, yes, it's fine. This is gonna be sweet. It would have to be... Kind of we'll have. It would have to be a skill. Now the... And the skill would have to say... 
if you have tri blaze not blaze accelerator if you have tri blaze accelerator face up on your field you can use this skill convert your tri blaze accelerator to uh, a blaze accelerator reload that's the only way i see it getting into dual links if that makes sense chris all right so we got a oh i never took out the orders to charge i don't have any haste all right um we know that's our friend because it's Jaden. uh let's just go in let's just put it all on seto kaiba so i will summon this here and actually we can do both we'll put uh dark resonator here ready up yeah and it is it is that's why i believe it would have to be a skill and the skill would have to be tied to having tri blaze accelerator face up on your field but not through any other skill right because you'd have to find blaze accelerator find tri blaze accelerator get blaze out play tri blaze hope that you didn't accidentally you know um draw into those volcanic scatter shots or you've successfully royal firestorm guards and then if you want to use it multiple times you'd have to get it back to the graveyard somehow uh no we're ready ready up it, it's good but i don't think it's too good for dual links if it goes through that skill as i described which that skill's like in the right deck it could be good but probably isn't that great all right we're all tied up uh let's see needle sunfish okay so we lost a monster here seto kind of doing a decent job of protecting let's put the needle sunfish in here and honestly like a speed warrior would stop all that right there and then we'll go ready and we'll see how that works turn-based league of legends who knew i i did not expect this to be i mean we talked about it then i said i would stream it if it didn't have um any beta restrictions, but it's it's been pretty neat so far. I summon a monster. I summon a monster. Mm. Excuse me. So he is definitely bringing the white. Oh no, that's in the center. Okay. Well, uh, battle phase. We should have some physical advancement here. Got to get rid of this orders to charge though. Eighty six. No, I have not. Ooh, chronomaly the mana. Anomaly of the mana. I feel like I just pulled this card. Oh, I did! It's an automatic. Okay. Uh, once per turn, quick effect, target monster in the field, and one exceeds me monster or chronomaly monster in your graveyard. The monster in the field gains half the attack of the monster in the graveyard to the end of the turn. Uh, then attach that monster from the graveyard to this material. Uh, your opponent activates the monster effect attached to materials and negate. Uh, 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 it's, two, it's two level five monsters. It's, it's, I think it's too good. We would have to have a, a little bit more power creep for that to be appropriate. Because, yeah, Chronomaly of Amana, I know it doesn't sound too good, but because it's a generic five, I just feel like some deck's going to, like, like, swamp battle guard OTK or something. All right, so I want to get tribute my friend's Exodia here. So we'll do, I'll send Gaga Gaga this lane, and just do something different tribute just the one and so let's find out what it means to be a flame wingman well i was just curious like i always try to be like open-minded but i don't think i can't think of any skill that would make that card fair it's it's a little too good all right so he's got another karibo okay Whoa, whoa, what is with all of this noise? Got two Z-Metal tanks. So interestingly enough, <laughs> even though he's our ace, it says no skill activated. So I wonder if we got to go back to the deck and re-add the skill. Uh, we can go ahead and click ready. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Chronomaly and Cyber Dragon will be the best decks. And somewhere, somebody would figure out, like, artifacts, right? Because those were a bunch of level 5s, or they have some level 5s in there. Some interesting. Sweet. It's way too good. It's going to happen sometimes. Cards are allowed to be good, but maybe not in our format. All right, so these two monsters are going to cancel each other out. We're going to gain some life points what? through um, Jaden Yuki sending us an Ojama. How thoughtful of him, right? Let's learn that from Duel Academy. All right, so we're going to gain, it's like, what, 500 life? Yeah, so you just basically send your monsters to, not die, but just sacrifice their 
uh, spirit so that you gain health. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Catch Hop Runner. Interesting. Um, he's gotten really small, so I want to send our biggest monster over here. And yeah, we're, we're just kind of going in again. But I, I do feel like there's a possibility we might be able to make it through. But we do have to go to Deckhead to figure out what's going on with the skills. I mean, true, true. That would be the perfect side deck, right? Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Everyone, if you, if you play artifacts, you might get a free win. So, same. It's just, it's a weird time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, Yu-Gi-Oh! is moving so fast right now. In every front, right? New video games all the time. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's a uh, very Metal Gear Solid Guns of the Patriots, right? Tackling those same themes about uh, unmanned warfare. Well, sounds cool. I hope you end up enjoying it. Oh, no. So we've got exactly 1,800 right here. Oh, but he's powering up his monster. So we're going to have at least five, 400 points go through. Yeah, 400 points go through. And we still haven't faced the blue eyes. I might need to just build something else. I might need to put a defense monster out. Oh, you're right. Artifacts and Abyss. Okay. That is, uh, oh, wow. That's, that's gonna hurt. Um, okay, so we know that the blue eyes is gonna show up, and I just kinda wanna hold on to my monster. So, what if I put him in defense mode, but not attack mode. And I let him hit here, and then that destroyed him, then I flipped him up to attack mode and let him advance. That's uh, getting some mileage out of the card, right? A couple of his defense points, a couple of his attack points. The music's good, like, all of this is just, yes, is the, right? If they had like a survey, customer enjoyment, how do you feel about cross duels? Yes, that's where we're at. Oh, interesting. That is cool. It's actually really cool. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, we ain't got nothing, so ready up. He still hasn't summoned his blue eyes. I guess we kind of want to keep him from, like, summoning two monsters at any one time. We unfortunately lost our uh, first monster down the center lane, but we're going to get it back, effectively, when Top Runner clears out the... Kind of a waste of the giant soldier of stone when you think about it, right? Okay, so I lost defense points. Did I keep? I did keep attack points, so you can do that. We learned like one new uh, trick of the trade. Well, I definitely like Gundam, like early Gundam, not just like Gundam Wing, but Gundam Wing, you know, has that. But Gundam Wing is stuck really early Gundam. Uh, Gundam came out in the 70s, so when I think of like early Gundam, I'm thinking of like Gundam. Right? Not like Gundam or Gumble, you know, Double X or whatever uh, the later series were. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, Gundam's typically about that stuff, so it sounds like there would be some crossover there. Alright, so I got Castle Walls, which is good for defense, which can set the trap. And then we're going to switch this to attack mode, and that's all we got. Ready up. Oh, man! Jaden Yuki just showed up. Like, he is here and ready. That is uh, kind of wild, to say the least. He put Voice Raider out, but it's kind of in the wrong lane. Uh, Jaden kind of needs help, but I think he's got he's got like four cards in his hand. Oh no! Okay, so we just basically set up top runner. Oh, interesting. With that in defense, that's basically going to make the Karibo uh, be able to hold off the Z Metal Tank for now. Alright, go ahead and ready. Oh, it is kind of like Dungeon Dice Monsters to a degree. Where you've got these familiar monsters, and you're trying to get to your opponent physically to attack their hard points. You know, you're right, I didn't think about it like that, but it is uh, a more card-centric version of Dungeon Dice. Oh, yeah, Gundam's always had great music, but I, I think some of the older ones for sure are here, XGP. Uh, my personal favorite Gundam. I'm sorry, I'm one of those. I love... Um, Gundam Wing. My second favorite after Gundam Wing is G Gundam, which came out the year prior. And then I think after that, I probably like 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 Gundam Gundam, like classic Gundam. 
Oh, so right here in this lane, Lonely Cloud, every time a monster gets here, it basically gets eaten up, right? It's like I sacrifice, I eat the card, and then I gain life points. If the monster has a skill that makes it gain more life points, then it'll gain even more, but typically you only get 500 life points every time one of those monsters arrives. So there's a balance between healing your friend, right, because you share life points, and my team currently has 7,500, and attacking Seto Kappa up here. So let me take a quick look. Uh, there's not really, I guess I'll set Shield Handler, that's it. Um, Shield Handler's effect is, uh, when your monster would be destroyed by an effect, it gains immune destruction, that's cool. Uh, looks like he's got an Avion, I don't like that he's setting me the Avion. It's so Dark Magician instead of, uh, Neos is a little weird, just to say, but... But yeah, I could be, I would be really excited to play this once it's fully out, because it really could just be, like, family game night. Uh, Blue Eyes is finally here. This monster is no illusion. We're going to have to figure this out. We have been having a lot of trouble with Blue Eyes. So. Who's lane? Is that our lane? It's in our lane! No! No, 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 no. Okay. So we're just going to lose our Spark Band. And we really need that. And Elf's Light 3800? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a problem. We ain't got nothing ready up. We're gonna heal, that's fine. He's gonna send it, but like we've run out of abilities uh, to do damage, really. The summoned skulls are gonna cancel each other out. Oh yeah, Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz was really good. With all the, like, the feathers and everything on, on Mobile Unit Zero, yeah. It seems like he does. I was hoping he wouldn't. I was hoping he would go right towards Jaden, but he's pretty smart. Oh, hey! Dark Magician survived by boosting the attack of it to 2,900. So we might be able to get a little stab in right here. Uh, I gotta hope to draw a monster and then throw that in defense mode and just keep blocking. Uh, that is not a monster card. So we're gonna lose 3,000. Um, I'm gonna gain 500 and 400. So the math may not be against us. So we really just have to pray. Yeah, the Order of the Charge just gives... Um, blowback and so what what super speed is a monster that is eligible to have order to charge use on super speed is means they just run fast right they get further lanes faster uh blowback is a skill in which you literally are just pushed back and uh you lose 500 attack and defense as a result of you being like overcome by the monster okay okay i mean he is he's a trophy right all right, so he's going to lose 400. We didn't defeat him, but I just want to know if this counts because the end math is going to be in our favor. Oh, so um, my favorite video game song, like, ever is um, the Vic... Not the Victory Music, the battle music for the stage for Troa in the SNES game Gundam Wing. And it is it is good. It is, like, great 90s techno coming out of the SNES. So we won. We actually did it. Still still need, like, a little bit of tweaking. But uh, didn't do too bad. Oh, we've received autoplay. Oh, that's cool. Might uh, learn a thing or two from letting the game actually play it for us. Uh, okay, so if I go to select opponent... Ah, uh, you only have level 2, so the only reward you get is just more of the same, and they don't seem to have anything further than that. Okay, so let's do a couple of new things. I do want to go back to rank duels. That is absolutely true, Kaiba. True words ever spoken. Uh, we're going to edit our deck real fast and take some stuff out, and then try to figure out what's going on with our customized cards not showing up in ranks. Yeah, but it was a good one. I mean, it was a really good one. All right, so we got this card here, and it's got its... Oh, we have to drag and drop. Well, we're just going to boost its attack. How do I increase that? Oh, no, that's just the leveling up. Okay, so we're putting in... Oh, I see. So we only have one slot. Okay, so what's the most important thing here? Uh, while on the field, all of your monsters get crusher. That seems really good to do the extra 300 points of damage. I mean, having it be like a one tribute big boy is cool. 
but I think that Crusher and then keeping him in the back is important. I love how he turned into an effect monster. Look at that. Blam! Effect monster. That's cool. Okay. So then that means uh, we need to go through and level up each of our monsters and give each of them a skill. Uh, but then the next thing I want to do then is uh, take some stuff that doesn't work out. So I don't really like Shield Handler. I understand why it's kind of cool, but that doesn't feel like us. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out now. Um, so take that out. Take Security Orb out. Take uh, Order 2 Charge. Alright, is it G Gundam or what? Oh, SD I actually have like an SD Gundam uh, video game for my Game Boy. And I used to play a lot of the old SD Gundam games. Because they were cute little like JRPGs using little petite Gundams like you pictured in your screenshot. Um, Battle Mania is good. I'm going to get rid of Security Orb. And I feel like I just want some bigger monsters. So we're going to put Junk Warrior in. And... I mean, I need like big defenses and... Horn of the Unicorn is just, just generically really good. Um, activate all wizardry effects your monsters have. Oh, cool. Are there, like... Are there, like, hidden skills and you play that and then something neat happens? Oh, no. Don't tell me that. I'm going to need to make a spellcaster, but I don't have a lot of spellcasters. I feel like a decent amount tucked in here. Let me see if maybe, like, Gakuga Magician can get a wizardry effect. And we can justify this. Wizardry, while on the field, gain 300 attack after you activate a spell card. Oh, cool. So, yeah, unlock. Uh, what's this other wizardry? Uh, 300 attack. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's the same one we were just... Oh, no, it's just another 300 attack. Oh, so you can do double bonus. Okay, then, yeah, let me go add... Or you could just... Maybe I should just boost all the attacks of my monsters and just make everything slightly better. So, I think that's what we're going to end up doing... Right, because we don't have a lot of, like, points, so just confirm. And then confirm, back out, and then put this up. Well, you know, I found it charming, though, so not everything that is considered kids programming, right? Like, this is a children's card game. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, not everything is only made for that. It's fun for the whole family, right? Yeah, I think what we're just going to do is just, uh, I like the idea of putting the Crusher effect, but I'm just making, like, a beatdown deck. And so, go back, and then we're going to slot that over here, and then, I don't know how to level the monsters up, but we'll get there when it comes to it. So now we have effect monsters, and I'm going to put, where's just like bigger defense? Yeah, bigger defense. Sparkman, unlock. I will say for it being like a little mobile gacha game, as some people have described it, it's actually relatively deep. And uh, there's a lot of time you could spend just racking your brain. How am I going to get good at this game? Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, just, like I said, we're just going to unlock all of these. Confirm. Oh, I have so many materials because I we did all those games that we didn't win. They figured, oh, maybe Pheromone needs a little help here. Okay, so we've got all that. Yeah, I got to do this. If I'm going to be the cross-dual world champion. Confirm. Now, they didn't say whether or not all this stays, like, if you get to keep it or not, but, uh, probably not, but we'll see. I'm gonna go unlock defense. I want her to be even stronger than 2,000 defense. And so, go back, put a defense thing. So now she's 2,200 defense. And then go over here. I am playing on PC. It is an emulated phone. So basically, it is just the operating system of the Android phone that is playing here uh, because that's a little easier to connect than to actually connect a real phone. Uh, we certainly have done that before. We did a lot of Pokemon Go streams back in the day, and uh, we just had it where my phone, through an app called Mobizen, uh, was beaming itself over to this, and that way I could just walk around, have fun, do stuff. Um, it, it is a little weird. It is a little weird. Just like Avion as an effect monster. His effect is this card gains 200 attack. Uh, now, this is an effect bond, so let's restore him to his formal glory. Oh, super speed. Oh, I definitely want super speed. I want to see if I can use super speed to maybe, like, Zerg Rush at, like, an inopportune time for our opponent. And maybe I should take a look at... Well, we'll start off with the attack boost for now. Although, there's got to be something better that this low-level monster does. 
Oh, it does have super speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and give the super speed too. Unlock confirmed. Oh yeah, anytime. Um, there are different phone emulators that certainly can play this. And uh, what's very weird is I, um, as as many people on the stream know, I'm a licensed attorney, and so I reviewed very carefully uh, this. I'm not telling you this to change your course of conduct, but from my reading of everything, I am comfortable streaming this beta, which is uh, unusual. You don't usually get to stream betas. Okay, so here's like my little side strategy going on. I'm gonna have a bunch of characters with the uh, super speed bonus, and then I'm gonna have the equip card that uh, boosts win monsters up. And I'm just gonna see if I can't like slip in a cool attack. Yeah, yeah. So I, I hope uh, you end up having a lot of fun. Okay, so what is this? Inflict 200 damage to player in the lane head. Oh, we got, we got like little bits of. A okay, so we're, we're actually learning how to play this game. So yeah, I definitely want my weaker monsters to have like cool effects that help. Uh, I'm gonna go back over to Celtic Guardian and see what these Earth monsters have. Seems like Fire monsters have direct damage. Uh, okay, so this is during battle when a opponent's attacking monster. Uh, oh, change it. Wow. Okay, yeah, confirm. All of a sudden, I'm like way into this. Now that I've like figured out how the skills work. Uh, immune to effects that now. We don't, we don't care about that one. Uh, we're just going to put that out. Do you have a more interesting defense effect? Oh, it's effect damage. Snipe. You're telling me it's a 2,000 defense monster that can do 200 damage every turn? That's pretty good. Uh, what do you do, fish friends? Uh, just boosts 200 attack. Or uh, the monster that battled this has its... Oh, it actually has its effect from the game. Uh, yeah, that seems cool. That seems like a really cool monster to send in a boss. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've seen a couple of shops in my day, and judging by the number of pixels, uh, that might be one. All right. We've customized all the monsters. We got our haste on our wind boys. Uh, what do you do, Hip Hippo? Uh, can be treated as two summons. Ooh, for a normal or effect monster. Uh, gains 200 after you summon another monster. Um, what's its other effect? Immune to effects that would bounce it. No, we don't want that. Um, boost defense if in defense position. I feel like. This is the best use of that card, but I don't have any two tribute monsters. So I'm just going to do uh, Cohesion gains attack points. Well, hot dang. I had no idea that we were in the presence of such Yu-Gi-Oh royalty, right? Uh, Yeah, we'll do Cohesion. All right. Man, I don't have to do like a full breakdown video on this to like explain it, because even I'm just figuring this out. Negate all skills of the monster attacked. Or... When summoned, recover. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Free heals. I'll take those. So we're going to go full heals. Clearly, clearly learning learning new things every day. All right. So that's it. We actually fixed our whole deck. And um, yeah, I kind of like what I got. So we're going to save this deck. And we got kind of like a, like a Zerg Rushy deck. with. A oh, you know what I didn't include, though? It's giving me, like, a, a warning that I can't play the deck. I wonder if there's something, like, we overreached the capacity and we're not allowed to run that many monsters yet. Oh, insufficient deck size. Perfect. So what we're going to do then is go back and add those equip spells. So. Uh, where's our wind-based equip stuff? Yellow Luster Shield. Oh, I love boosting the fence by 600. The right time, that could be huge. Uh, Sword of Dark Destruction, Dark Monster Boost by 800. How many Dark Monsters we actually have? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's enough. That's enough targets. Uh, how are we doing on Koala? I want the wind, though, specifically. The wind is really important for me. Water. Blue Medicine, just gain 300. May not be that bad, actually. Um... Oh, this is the card. Okay, so we can actually use Order to Charge now. But it doesn't look like we have anything that boosts the attack of wind monsters yet. So more on that as that develops. Shan Javelin. Cover life points. Oh, man. Shan Javelin. That is messed up. Uh, let's take out somebody. The Hip Hippo, I think, has got to go. And I'm going to put Enchanted Javelin in. Save. Confirm. Okay, so this is going to be weird. It's gonna be weird, but we got Jaden. 
Um, we've customized our monsters. I don't want to go back into tag duels. Raid duels doesn't unlock until next week. So, um, yeah, let's just do ranked matches and see if we are slightly better now that we've figured out how to, like, really interface with the game. We're going to go ranked match. We're going to use our last ticket, which should be replenished at the end of the day. I know, poor Hippo. Don't worry, Arc 5 feels are coming. And so yeah, Monday, again, is probably going to be a uh, Millennium Puzzle stream, which is going to be hype. But let's see if on this ranked duel, we do just as well. These games take a long time, though. I think we only fit in maybe like 10 cross duels. So it, it's, it's starting to like scratch that itch, right? Like I'm creating that serotonin in my mind that i'm enjoying this and as every time we duel like i'm like yeah i got a little better or cool i found a new skill true true i got like a feeling though because most of it you know you just line up the corners like that's my strategy you line up the corners you get the the uh the little end piece and like i know what the puzzle looks like right like i'm staring at millennium puzzles all over my room so hopefully we can figure this out but we'll see all right Okay, so this is pretty cool. It's the main phase of the first turn. This is what I want to do. I want to catch my opponent sleeping on me. So I'm going to go ahead and put Avion here just to see what happens. Or, yeah, we'll keep Avion there. We'll keep Avion there. And then I want to put um, Resonator Magician on the side here. But I don't even want to get involved in the center lane right now. So battle phase, let's go. The fun has just begun. <laughs> All right. So he's got his uh, needle sent fish. I'm seeing a lot of normal monsters. I think we may be like the few people who have figured out effect monsters. They're a thing. So we got our 1500 attacker. Looks like he's got um, an 1100 hitter top runner. And he's got the hyper speed. So I'm curious what that means in the center lane. Oh, Mask of Brutality. Wow. What's the target? That is 2,600. Okay. So we're just going to ready up. We don't have anything to play. I mean, we can play Sword of um, Destruction, but it's not time for that just yet. So I'm going to save that for our other monster. Okay, so there's an Aqua Chorus. Attack up and defense up. I thought that only works when you have monsters of the... Uh... Oh, no, just... It, they change the effect. Okay, so you just get 200 attack and defense whenever they battle. Ooh, um... I've seen most people do it in, like, three hours. I think we could probably do it in 2.30. Two hours, 30 minutes is what I'm hoping for. Uh, and then afterwards, we'll just use the rest of the time on Duel Links if we have time. And then Wednesday will be just be a straight Duel Link stream. We'll just go back to normal. But this is really neat. There's so many new things of Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like every single day. Again, it is mind-blowing how much Yu-Gi-Oh! there is. Alright. I like the Trickstar Lady Bell. And I like that it snipes. So this is what we're going to try to do. We're going to put this in defense. And... We're going to summon... This over here? And I might end up just ripping this guy a new one if he doesn't take me seriously. Uh, Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. I'm hoping he summons something and then I slap down the Sword of Dark Destruction. Oh, yeah, yeah. They haven't had any Arc 5 cards yet, but they have, like, an expansive menu that says, like, hey, here's here's where the Arc 5 content would go. Same deal with Vrains and Seven. So, pretty exciting. Okay, he did summon a monster. And so, when the battle phase happens, do I just click snipe? Oh, it does. It just automatically does it. Just 200. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, Emily, don't say that. You can always watch replays of the stream. But right now, we are doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duels, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It's actually not officially out yet. It's in beta testing, and I'm lucky enough to be one of the beta testers. Uh, it's been fun so far. It really has. Oh, fine. Let's do it. Oh, it's too slow. I need to really save it anyway. And it kind of, like, prevented me from making a mistake. What? Do -do. 
do 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 Okay. Mirror Force! I'm glad I stayed out of the center lane. Oh, wow! No! Mirror Force from the left guy that just got rid of every monster attacking him. So, my overinvestment in the left lane has backfired tremendously. But, uh, I do think that the other stuff's working out okay. So, here's what we gotta figure out. Um, he's sending his monsters this way. He just used Mirror Force. He has so many cards. I noticed that, like, I run out of cards so much faster than everybody else. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to put this guy in defense mode? No, our ace killer... Kind of too good. Um... I think we just pass. Oh, no. You know what? I don't want to take the... Ah, I'm going to have to... It's... it's it's torture trying to figure out what I want to do on this, because, again, it is just so different from any of the other Yu-Gi-Oh! games we play. We're figuring out. We'll get there. But yeah, learning experience is a fair assessment of what it is that we're going through right now. So, let's see. What will you do? <sighs> Alright, so, from there... Uh, he's got monsters incoming. There's nothing to do. Pass turn. Ready up. Do, do, do. Uh, to a degree, I am. About to lose a thousand. That hurts. Interesting that the snipe damage that you do doesn't gain life. Only by attacking directly do you gain life. So we'll keep that in mind. This is going to be its own thing. I think we're probably just going to tribute summon and drop somebody down there. Yeah, because that was a huge hit to take that thousand life points. Okay, I like the Celtic Guardian. The Celtic Guardian is going to save me from myself because all I got to do is play Celtic Guardian here and I don't have to overcommit to anything. Um, from there, we ready up an end Yeah, we're good. Okay. Waiting for other players to skip. They've got this camera button here, but it doesn't really like seem to do anything. So I'll have to experiment with that a little bit more. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I, this is not running on blue stacks, so your results may vary, but I do know that blue stacks, what is it, 5.0 is out, and so it's supposed to be lower overhead, and that has better compatibility with Windows 11. You might have a fun time playing this game. Enter the battle phase. Well, in Duel Links, when you press the camera button, it, like, changes you? immediately. Um, okay. Do you have a skill to use? Intimidate when battling, change the defense. What's that guy's defense? Oh, it's 2400. Wow, that was such a not good call. Uh, ready? Oh, no. I needed to, like... That's gonna do way more. Yeah, so he intimidates it. But he has his full defense. So, uh-oh. We messed up. And we're gonna lose attack points for that, too, aren't we? Yeah, we... Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. I think um, game plan is, it looks like this guy is just ready to defend me. I don't want to go in and fight through. Uh, this is where the biggest threat is to me. So I might tribute here and then get in that lane and then go at it. Oh, I see. I see. Well, again, you know, you don't necessarily have to be full screen. You don't have to have professional equipment. I find in my experience, the streamers that I'm most engaged with are just the ones that are engaging, right? They're talking to me. It is a two-way conversation. So just do what's right for you, fam. Uh, okay, we're gonna put Sparkman. No monsters are coming your way, but stay alert. Sparkman here. Or do I just want to like annihilate him and put Sparkman here? Yeah, we're gonna put Sparkman here. He doesn't seem to be doing anything in my middle lane because of the two thousand defender. Uh, so now after that, I'm gonna tribute for Junk Warrior in this zone. By tributing probably our best sponsor, the Lily Bell. And bring out Junk Warrior and then start moving from there. Well, perfect then, right? Looks like Gaia to the side and then Zubaba, General. Stardust Dragon appears on the field. So it looks like all the resources are exhausted. And I think... Right, I have my, my, my turn planned out well in advance. I think we might be okay here. 
And what I might do here is switch these out. Or I might just send Flame Wingman that way too. Okay, so skill attribution. Interesting. Skill activated. What's his skill? Uh, more defense? Is that what it seems to be? Yeah, it seems to be more defense. Oh no, immunity to destruction effects. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Order to Oh, somebody's actually using order to charge. Well, that's cool. And so, man, the green arrows. There's like so much on the screen at any given time. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is throw on our sword and put that on this monster. Our monster, not his monster. Our monster. It's funny though, did you notice I could equip other people's dark monsters? You could change the fate of the battle by increasing the attack of one of your opponent's monsters so that your other opponent, when they fight, they have a worse time fighting him. Oh, neat, okay. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, so we got 3,300 Junk Warrior. And we're about to go to battle phase here. Junk Warrior made quick work of it. The extra attack really helped. Uh, Dark Magician Girl fell to start us dragon. And so we're, we're moving. We'll clash over here between a dragon and a knight. Looks like the knight prevails. Guy of the Fierce Knight knows a thing or two about fighting dragons. Or fighting with dragons, too. Then on the other side, we got Zubaba General, and it's just making its way up. We're still in fourth place, but I I'm feeling kind of good. Okay, so... We know that this is irrelevant right here, right? We're never going to get in. We're never going to be able to get past. So because he's got his defense monster, what I'm going to do is tribute to the center zone. Get rid of Spark Band. And then I'm gonna go ready. Oh, hey, yeah, time does fly. All right, so. Oh wow, I haven't seen Neos yet. Man, Neos Space does have a brand new hero. Oh, and it did the GX font. That's cool. That is really, really neat. Okay. I don't think I was paying attention to see when Junk War- Oh, I guess it'd be Stardust Dragon to see, like, what the, the thing was. Oh, neat. Okay, cool. Alright, so here's the battle phase. Uh, nothing. Really, I got past turn. No thanks, Yugi boy. I love psyching out our opponent to be like, Oh, this is where the threat is, and being like, Surprise, it's over here. We run a pretty tribute-heavy deck, but... We're getting it done. All right, so he turned his monster to defense mode. We're going to go ahead and ready. And by destroying his Stardust Dragon, if we do meet it in battle, uh, which I guess we are because he put it in defense, uh, we're going to fight our opponent's monster first. And then we're probably going to lose our monster afterwards, but we're at least going to do 300 damage to our opponent. So attack. Blam. Got through it. Those two cancel each other out. They're the same monster, right? Skill activated. Uh, I want to say... Little attack boost. Just little baby steps there. And so, yeah. Clash of the Titans here. But we do lose our monster. Very strategic, by the way. To get into defense mode and know that you could eliminate the monster. But we do 2,300 points. So, we went from being last place to first place just like that. So, we just have to have a good turn. And we're gonna be okay. We end our turn. And so draw. I like the enchanted javelin. I don't have any risk here. I feel like um, I'm putting the left lane. Oh no! It, it just zapped to the middle one. Uh, we can just hit ready. I think we might win this one. This might be a whole, an actual victory royale. Then we'll talk about what's coming up for the stream, and uh, this weekend with Remote Duel Travaganza. And, yeah. Another one in the books. Alright. Go to the choices here. It seems like our opponent on uh, the right side is just giving up trying to fight me. And so not playing any cards turned out to be the right move for us. 
there are a lot of Jack Atlas cards. It might just be what they got, right? It seems like most of the cards are just like the guy and his rival. And in this case, they are excuse me, mostly putting in um, Chaz as the rival, actually. I mean, if only, if only. Okay, so we switched this to attack mode, so he's coming in. Does he lose when Neos attacks him? Is that it? 2,500, so he's going to go 43, 63. That doesn't beat me. I might win because Duelist number two is about to beat Duelist number three. And it just goes to show you in this game, sometimes the person directly across from you is not the only thing you should be worried about. You can be attacked from the sides as well. So, yeah, he just decided he didn't want that Duelist to come anywhere near him. Oh, cool, he's got a bounce. Oh, that's neat. Just like Quilvold Hedgehog can come back, they kind of integrated that in the game. But here comes the Cosmic Crush, and I want to say that's going to be the end. And so Stardust Dragon's going to attack as well, and that is from Witch Duelist. Uh, okay. So the Duelist does not end with zero life points, and therefore the duel still isn't over yet. We still get one more turn. So I do think they're going to come for me. Crushing this we got a Zubaba Knight. I'm just going to put Zubaba Knight in the left side. And that might be all she wrote. So attack mode. I could tribute. Uh, you know what I should do? I'm going to do that. I don't need any more life points. I'm going to tribute in defense mode. This monster complete. This is, this is my final gambit. Let's duel. Ah, he did put somebody in defense mode. Okay. And so... How did that end up in attack mode? That's fine. Attack's fine. I oh, know. It looks like it's in defense mode now. Right? Yeah, it's in defense mode. Okay, cool. So, I think we did it. I think we, like, strategically maneuvered our way into getting uh, two whole victories. Which is not bad for today. Um, let's go ahead and hit ready. But this will be really cool. I'm looking forward to really weird strategies. People getting creative. You know, there might be like an Ojama deck. Oh, interesting. So you're saying, uh, is the first place, do we get extra? We might. I know that there's like the little treasure chests. And on ranked, it seems to... Um, if you get first place, you get gold treasure chest points instead of getting uh, silver or bronze. So to a degree, yes, you do get extra points if you get first place. It's not quite the same as being the one who got the kill and did the four-player duel. But, um, yeah, no, it would be, it's really exciting so far. Zubaba so is just coming up there. Uh, yeah, our Stargazer Magician is about to really hold his own. Right, completely annihilating that other monster. Even with his 1800 attack, nope, that's zero. Alright, so here's Zubaba. I guess that's what the camera thing does, is it zooms over instead of having, like, the zoomed out look like that. Oh, cool. Okay, well, that might be us this time, Alec. It really might be. A mission has been completed. I bet you it is the get first place mission. Ranked up! Or not. We'll see. We did get first place, though. Tap screen. Uh, ticket bonus. Nice. Okay. It's weird hearing Kaiba say, like, nice things, by the way. Uh, um... We got some gems. We got some points. Okay. Cumulative rewards. Cumulative rewards. Cumulative rewards. Awesome. Red materials, gems, common materials. So we got plenty of stuff to do more, more things. Uh, we didn't get enough to open a gold box, but we did for a silver box. That'll be cool. Box opens. And what do we get from the silver box? We get uh, more materials, so it's a crafting thing. It's okay. You do have to craft in this game. Box open. All right, confirm. Tap screen. Ha, interesting. Okay, trust level increased. Seto Kaiba trusts us. Can you believe it? All right, so. Uh, let's get a few more gotchas on. Deck seems like it's a little better. I was able to strategically do what it is that I wanted to do. Shot. All right, so. I guess we want card gotcha yeah we do want the card gotcha oh we have enough for like a bunch okay draw we're gonna have to do this one at a time here we'll skip that just to make it a little faster uh light force sword 
And we got uh, Invigoration for Earth Monsters. And then, oh, we already own the other cards, so those are just duplicates. Okay, cool. Can we do multiple gotchas? No, you gotta do it one at a time. Okay. Well, fine. I don't want to eliminate all the drama and mystique. So, three cards. And we got... More spell cards is mainly what I'm looking for. Okay, so yeah, cards you already own. Return to gotcha. Draw. Yeah, we might do the skip thing. Uh, okay, so we got a Flaming Spear so for fire monsters. Neat. And then we got, at the start of the battle phase, all monsters in defense have their skills negated. Oh, that's cool. Gorgon's eye. Um, go back to the gotcha here. So let's see. Card gotcha. But you need a lot of cards to be able to get extras, so we may be able to trade for, like, one card of our choice the next time we stream this. Nice! Ah, Vorst Raider. So good. 19. And then Mask of Brutality we really needed, so that's a huge, huge up. I think we got enough for, like, four more packs. Draw from the gotcha here. Alright, so... One, two, tap screen... Uh, Sparks, oh, Giant Soldier of Stone, and, uh, Disarmament, an opponent's monster boosted will become its original attack. Oh, that could be really good. That could be really neat to, like, put that as a set trap, and they'd be like, surprise, it'd be like, surprise, surprise, because that's Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, anytime we get new cards, although you almost want cards you already have so you can trade up. Uh, scroll of Bewitchment that changes the attribute of monsters ordinarily, but now it says it gains Phantom. Cannot deal battle damage to an opponent. Oh, to opponent players. Oh, so you like slap a scroll of Bewitchment on them, and then all of a sudden their monster doesn't do anything. That's huge. Uh, that means the only thing they can do is, uh, you know, try to hit it with a trap card or something. Alright, let's draw from the gotcha again. Here, we'll skip. Uh, nope, just duplicates. And then last gotcha... All right, Neos would be really cool. I'd love an ace. Tap the screen. Okay, so it's some familiar stuff. Actually, I think we have all of these. So yeah, what cards do we have? It would be actually, you're right. Oh, actually, uh, it, it puts it on opponent's monster, or you put it on opponent's monster to prevent them from doing damage to their opponents. So if you put it on your own Stargazer, yes, he's under 2,000 attack, but then he literally would not be able to hurt your opponents. Be careful uh, and careful with those cards. Um, but just a brief tour on some of the stuff that hasn't been added yet. Uh, yes, they've added 5D stuff. Yes, they've added Zexel stuff. There's a blank for Arc 5, Rain, 7s. Our current tag partner's here, right? Shows that we're friends with this gentleman. Um... Go ahead and do a little Yusei Fudo unlock. Hey, did you just drop this card? So cool that it all has voice acting. No problem. But the fact that you didn't realize that they don't do this for dual links. They really didn't. On your mind. Well, cool, Trividium. Uh, this is going to be the last time we stream it for sure. Um... On Monday, which we'll talk about in a bit, we might end up streaming a little bit more of this, but I want to integrate this while it's in uh, beta phase. We'll skip through this, right? You know, you guys will get your chance to. It, it's so, like, well-produced. I'm really excited about it. So they have all those features. Uh, raid duels aren't going to be added until uh, Monday. So that might be what we do on Mondays. We might check out raid duelings.